Hi hey guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 472, featuring a look at this game, The Dark Eye, Drake and Say. Uh, this is a game that came out, I think, about 2009, early part of uh, 2009, maybe late 2008, and it's a German game based on this uh, Dark Eye role-playing game system that's in some ways similar to uh, D&D rules, but I think it's different enough to make it really interesting. And i tell you the truth, I think they do, <laughs> do a lot of things a lot better. Uh, than those other uh, role-playing systems you might be more familiar with. Uh, anyway, when this came out, uh, it just kind of seemed to be under the radar of a lot of people. It didn't really seem to get the attention that I think it deserved. Uh, so I wanted to go back, check it out all these years later, you know, see does it hold up well? Is it something worth playing today? And I think the answer to that is absolutely, <laughs> definitely yes. Really awesome, really fun. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've got a lot to cover here. So without further ado, uh, here is Drake and Zach. And here we go, folks. A little game called Draken Sang, or Draken Sang. I'm pretty sure it's Draken Sang. A very interesting game that came out back in 2009. And I think it, you know, a lot of people I talk to on uh, Twitter and various, uh, you know, Matt Chat uh, communication channels, they, they tell me that maybe they got this game from a bargain bin. Uh, played it a little while, but then kind of got distracted and never, never finished it. Kind of basically got you know, lost in the mix. If you look at 2009, according to uh, GOG here, this game came out in February. February. Well, it's the toughest month to say. Uh, but you can look at some of these other games that were coming out in 2009. Uh, <laughs> Arkham Asylum Batman. That's a good one. Wait, is that the first one? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, that's a pretty good game, as I recall. Uh, Dragon Age Origins is probably the one that Let's see, that was in November. So you might have started playing. You probably didn't get Drake and Sing right off the right in February. February. <laughs> uh, you might have gotten distracted with this Dragon Age Origins game. Of course, Empire Total War. One of my favorite games of all time. Love that. Uh, yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 is out. And I believe um, somewhere in here, I think one of the big. Uh, I don't see it listed. Oh, Torchlight. Uh, somewhere, I believe this was also when WoW released one of their expansions, Lich King. Might have been a little bit before this. Uh, but if anything like me, between the Lich King and Dragon Age, you know, this game kind of got uh, kind of lost in the shadows, I think, of, of this particular era. I mean, yeah, I don't know, your experience might be different, but that's what uh, I experienced. And I think it's kind of a shame. You know, so I definitely think it's worth taking another look at this game. Uh, why now? I mean, this was 2009, and the reason I like this era of games, I'm, I'm increasingly starting to think about these late 2000s as being like a little mini golden age, or like a peak or a pinnacle age, you know, if you will, because uh, this is really where you get like the best techno technology. So graphics look really good. This, I mean, it's completely modern. Uh, I don't really think we've come that much further. <laughs> you know, so certainly, you know, things look a little bit better. But, I mean, by 2009, the game looks good enough. Uh, okay, unless you're just really a graphics uh, fanatic. You know, you'll like the uh, the graphics and games from this era. be fine. Uh, but you sort of get that peak of technology. But it's not yet to that point where every game feels like it has to be culturally relevant, you know, you know so to speak. <laughs> just leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, so you can get games that are still just happy being fantasy games, just embracing the uh, escapism, just, you know, good fantasy stories without feeling like everything has to be tied to whatever the hell is going on <laughs> in the real world, which I don't know about you, but the less I'm reminded about what's actually going on, the better. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll stop that rant there. Uh, some other things before we jump into the game. And I, you know, I'm probably like you, I played this back. Probably 09, 010, somewhere. 010. If I really did, that wouldn't be in the future. <laughs> uh, somewhere around 2009 or 10, uh, let's say. I played it probably about three quarters of the way through and then got distracted again by all this other stuff. Uh, but there is still some very interesting stuff about this game. Uh, main thing is it's uh, not based on D&D. &D. This is a totally different system. It's called the Dark Eye. And I'll talk about this in my... Uh, or I guess Shane and my, Shane and I's, Shane and my, <laughs> I just said that, our, uh, Dungeons and Desktops book a little bit, because it's a German system, and it's it's a very interesting alternative. You know, if you're bored with Dungeons and Dragons, you want to try something different, uh, you can try that out. I've never played the tabletop version. I've only played it 
in this. I've, I've, it seems like I played an adventure game also, which is kind of weird. But I, I played some other games in this universe, but this is the only role playing I've done. Uh, and they talk a little bit about that system here. So I'll be looking at that as we play this and just comparing it off and on to uh, you know something more familiar. See, you know, they do, this, do they do some things better in this system? Is it is it more complicated? You know, it's better or worse? You know, some to some extent it'll be apples and oranges, but it's also you know you might like this better basically. And so we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, also, it is uh, it has the real time or tactical combat system with pause function. So I think it'll be fun to kind of compare this game to, say, the Dragon Age or stuff that came uh, after it. You know, again, maybe they do some things better here, some things worse. We'll see. Uh, I've been told the character creation system is very complicated. Now, I will say, though, I downloaded and read the manual, and it's very short. So I assume most of the what you need to know is is in the game in the form of uh, you know tool tips or, to, <laughs> or, or journal or something. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. Uh, let's see, anything in else interesting about this? Uh, numerous and varied enemies and monsters from the DSA universe. What is, What does DSA stand for? Drakensang universe? Dark Eye? <laughs> does, like, Dark Eye have a... Maybe in German that abbreviates to DSA? You know, we'll have to see. Uh, anyway, this has got Linorms, whatever the hell that is. Ogres? Undead mules. Okay. <laughs> you know, Dungeon Siege has mules. This one's got undead mules. That'll be fun. Uh, maybe they're not so stubborn. Uh, I don't know. Giant amoeba and many more. Now, I happen to know that the many more does include a little critter called the uh, wolf rat. Wolf rat. Which I think is a great idea. I wish we had more types of rats. You know, it's talked about this on Twitter. Why not a dog rat? <laughs> Why not a cat rat? Uh, why not a dragon rat? I'll just ponder on that, how awesome that would be. Uh, anyway, I don't see a whole lot else here on this uh, GOG page to worry about. Looks good. Let's take a look quick look at the uh, reviews. We'll see if we, after we play this for a few hours, if we agree with these folks or not. It's like Poly77. Uh, let's see... DRM version for modern PCs. That's a good point. You know, I got the box copy back there. I don't even know if that thing would run or install. Uh, so it's really good to have a, you know, GOG on top of this. So we're going to start with a solo character. Good. But anyway, they gave it, a, looks like, four out of five stars. Five out of five stars. Hidden Gem uh, from Sam at 42. Another five uh, star review. These are pretty recent, <laughs> too. You can tell I have a different time scale <laughs> uh, than most people. Uh, a long-awaited addition to the GOG. This one says, right in the middle of the road. The best RPG from Germany to date. Now, that's a big claim. Because there are some damn good RPGs from Germany. So we'll have to see about that one. But anyway, the reviews are good. Ten bucks. If you want to, just go pick it up before you watch the review. Or if you want to wait until after, that is, of course, also good, too. Anyway, enough uh, enough uh, putzing around here. Let's get this game up and running. young. The gods made dragons the guardians of the sacred order. But evil powers sought to destroy the divine order. They sowed treachery and discord amongst the dragons and throughout the land. Filled with envy and greed, the younger dragons set the world aflame with hatred and war. The Elder Dragons managed to restore the balance, but they paid a terrible price. <laughs> In the aftermath of the final battle, the Elves deserted their cities. 
to live a life of peace and harmony in the meadows and forests of Aventuria. That sounds a little bit familiar. But the dwarves never forgot the dragon's treachery. The flames of battle still burn strong in their hearts. Good old dwarves, sure. And the dragons are their mortal enemies. From the ashes of those ancient empires arose the human folk. Their civilization flourished in the wake of the dragon's defeat. They worshipped them as the guardians of the sacred order. Silly humans. But the ancient guardians have long passed from this world, and the peoples of Aventuria are blind to what I have seen. Once more, the forces of evil seek to sow treachery and discord. My strength wanes. But there is still much to be done. Forged in fiery depths! A blade of deadly steel! Our heroes to serve! And our foes to crush! By Crumb! Alright, that's a kick ass intro movie. I like that. Kind of a. little bit of a Conan Lord of the Rings vibe. I think I said at the. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at the outset, I, I like games that are pure escapism, but man, that seemed like they could have been talking about right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Lovely title screen. I mean, does, you know, it's easy just not even to look at a good title screen like this and just jump into the game, but, you know, it's like this, just, what you in such a rush for? <laughs> you, know, you know, take your time, enjoy the... You know, the beautiful little uh, picturesque scene they've put together here. Got these sun rays, got the little moths, got the, uh, the well right there, some leaves. I mean, don't you want to, like, go down that trail and see what's in those mountains or in that house? I, I think, you know, if you, if you got a good title screen to me, that's already saying a lot about your game. And so let's just stop the review here. <laughs> yeah, nice sense of... Uh, you know, it's, it's a little trick, an artistic trick, like to show you like these like doorways and stuff. So you, you kind of want to know what's around that corner or inside that, uh, you know, down that path or inside that little area over there. It's, it's pretty, pretty clever stuff. All right, let's see. Can't continue because I have not created a character. I am turning to you in what are now dark times. Much has happened over the past few years. I have become embroiled in matters that can now scarcely be untangled. In order to achieve this, I desperately need an outsider, an unknown face. My house is situated on the Prayer Square in Ferdark, opposite the temple. I know I can count on your help. May Avis be with you on your journey. Your old friend, Ardo. P.S. If I'm not there when you arrive, my caretaker will be able to tell you where to find me. Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. So Ardo's our old friend, and yet he needs an outsider with an unknown face. Uh, so are we like long distance pen pals or something? <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay. Let's see. Character creation. That looks pretty good. It looks like I got a choice here of warrior, archer, and soldier. Oh, I can do that too. So, wow. Okay, quite a pirate. <laughs> well, I don't need other options if there's pirate. Oh, cool. Amazon. So, how is this? So, I guess you got sort of the base class, maybe? And then some uh, subclasses, is that? No, these are... These are races of people? Ptolemide. Culture Mahadan... Ma, Manadistani, elementalist. Okay, so you can sort of... 
you're choosing a race, I guess, and then you can choose a different culture slash profession. Alright, so there's quite a few options, I guess, then. Burglar! This could be a burglar like a Bilbo! A plain old thief or a rogue. Battle mage, healing mage. <laughs> Hello! Oh, I've got some coriander. A charlatan. Yeah, that's what everybody dreams of being. Warrior with his bowl cut. Archer. Soldier. Oh, those are a dwarf. Let's see, you got choice of mercenary. Sapper. Or a prospector. Oh, this is going to be a tough choice. I kind of like the idea of being a prospector. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in a, a game before. You know, Sapper, I guess this must be like an engineer. Oh. Be an Amazon. You know what? <laughs> How can you resist being a pirate? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Generate a name. Oh, that's kind of interesting. A letter die. Wait, how many letters are in the alphabet? I should probably know that, being an English professor. So if a D20, I don't think, I think there's more than 20 letters though, right? Torbren Echeldawson. Halvar Radgridson. So these kind of sound like Viking names to me, like Swedish or, or Norwegian or something. I guess that's appropriate. You guys are all pirates over there in those countries. Torben Wandrensen. Pretty cool name. Okay, race Thorwalian. Culture Thorwalian race profession pirate. And we got a background. He's decided to leave his ship and seek his fortune far from home. Tough and incredibly strong, yes. He skillfully fights with what the hell's a Scaraja? Scaraja! In shield. He is well versed in the use of throwing weapons. Etiquette is an alien concept to him. And he feels out of place in a high society. Arr, that he does. <laughs> oh man, look at these attributes. Oh my god. Courage. Cleverness. Intuition, charisma, dexterity, agility, constitution, strength. <laughs> oh my god, okay. And I don't see any tooltips here. So like, what's the difference in dexterity and agility? That's probably in the manual somewhere. So probably one of these has to do with like speed and the other one must be like precision. Or maybe it's like thieves, thieving skills, trap detection, disarming versus bow precision. And it doesn't look like I can roll these things. Let's see, base values, vitality, astral energy, endurance, or resist magic. Bonuses, penalties, vitality bonus, or low resistance to magic. Must be as a penalty. So there, this is basic. There's also expert mode. Oh my god. Whoosh. <laughs> character sheet. Character sh uh, the character sheet displays all the game relevant values for a character. Yes, yes, that's probably very helpful information. Thank you for that. Talents. Each character has what are known as basic talents. On the other hand, Special talents must be learned unless your character possesses them from the outset due to particular circumstances. Blah, blah, blah. Talents can be used apparently in dialogues, plants, animals, pickpockets, willpower, a talent test. All right. So we're probably better off going with the pre-made character than since I don't really know anything about this Dark Sun system. 
But it looks like if you did actually play the game, or knew the tabletop game, you could come in here and, and fuss around with these attributes. At least in theory. For some reason I can't... Can I change that? I can make my mouse pointer a different color. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. So you right click on that to get some info. So it looks like charisma is pretty much what you'd expect. It says it also has something to do with the intensity of a magical aura. Let's see if we can figure out the difference in dex and uh, agility. So dexterity is hand-eye coordination, especially in intricate activities like writing, drawing. You don't normally think about writing being tied to dexterity. That's kind of interesting. Uh, disarming traps, picking locks, general manual quickness. So guess how quick you can grab that manual. <laughs> Flip to the appropriate page to argue with the dungeon master. Agility or ag. You ever take an ag class? Good at jumping. Wait, physical suppleness, quick reactions, reflexes. Accuracy in, in judging your own reach. Maybe I need some more dexterity to help me read. Graceful movements. So I guess like dancing, acrobatics. It sounds like it might have something to do with accuracy in terms of our throwing weapons. Let's see what courage is. React quick quickly and resolutely. So this apparently has a little something to do with speed. A high level of willpower and mental toughness. Okay. Strength, raw muscle power. So I guess strength is pretty much what you'd expect from D and D. Constitution sounds like that's your hit points. Intuition. I thought that was intelligence. No, it's intuition. Sound decisions without having to think about it. Something about the energy plane. Oh, cleverness. So instead of intelligence, we have cleverness. This signifies intelligence and logical reasoning, the ability to analyze the situation bit by bit to draw rational conclusions. So that's, you know, it's a little bit different. You can see they've uh, purposefully, uh, well, I don't know about that, but, you know, they, they've, they've deviated. It's not the standard stuff from D&D. Uh, &D. And I guess we get these base values. And are those the ones we can, ch can't change those either. Oh, reset leveling points. Oh, okay, so that's what lets us... Wow, we can only change one thing. <laughs> Alright. Or am I not doing that right? What in the hell? So this AE is... Oh, I guess that doesn't apply to me, maybe? And I gotta say, this is kind of a confusing system here. It looks like the only thing I can change is this cleverness and I could bump up my vitality and then we've got some points to put into these I guess they call these talents perception willpower sneaking pickpocket <laughs> dwarf knows dwarves have developed a preternatural instinct when it comes to sniffing out it's like literally sniffing out secret passages Hidden doors or openings and walls or rocks, even when no perception tests are permitted due to concealment. Okay. So you got all these uh, talents or skills divided into, looks like, five categories. Artisan, lore, social, nature, physical. <laughs> Streetwise, got a little mug of ale there for that one. Loquacious. Seduce. I'm going to definitely pump the, <laughs> pump the heck out of that one. <laughs> uh, this talent covers your character's effects on members of the opposite sex. A successful talent test signifies the object of your advances is well disposed towards you. Okay. Human nature, fast talk, haggle. Man, just a lot of complexity here. And you guys have to tell... Oh, that's just one tab. Holy cow, that's just one tab. All right, talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got combat talents. 
daggers brawling crossbow and special abilities on top of that these are used in combat to perform particular attacks and parries it's like those are divided into melee ranged and defensive all right wow look at all this Man, you could really do a deep dive into this game. Man, alive. Recipes. Alchemy. Oh, your recipes. I guess you could make arrows or bows. Well, anyway, very complicated system there. I'm just going to go with the, uh, the pre-made character because I have really no idea what I'm doing. So you can change the gender there. It looks like that doesn't change anything other than the appearance of the character and the pronoun. Alright, well let's go ahead and start. Quest. An invitation from an old friend has been updated. Welcome to the world of Adventure Adventuria. You will meet many people on your travels who will ask you to do favors of various sizes for them. You don't say... It's going to be one of those kind of games. You have to do things for people. The life of a hero involves gradually collecting a great number of tasks and a large amount of information. You know, that is the most boring description of being a hero I have ever read in my entire life. <laughs> you will carry a quest book with you, like all good heroes do in which all instructions are logged for you to read again at any time. These changes are indicated by the book symbol which lights up. Oh, very, very excited. Look, it's flashing on my quests. Open, closed, failed. My old friend and mentor, Ardo of Borstock, sent me a letter with an urgent request that I visit him in Furdock. Naturally, I pack my belongings and set out to see him at once. All right, I guess these are our abilities down there on this quick slot. All right, that's so far so good. We should have an inventory button here somewhere. Ooh, what's this? Run, walk, sneak, or pause combat. And the space bar pauses combat. Quests. Main menu, let's see. Oh, here we go. This looks like the inventory screen. <laughs> Simple bandages. A Thorwallian round shield. A large wooden round shield with iron bound edges and an iron boss in the middle. These shields are favored by the Northmen. Carrying a shield gives you a second parry. Alright, interesting. Let's go ahead and put that on, I guess. Oh, do I have a separate slot? No, I do not have a separate slot for these throwing axes. Oh, I got a Furdock Pale Ale. Bottom fermented beer. Now, you you, you know a German game, man. They're going to be detailed as hell. <laughs> about the, I mean, they give me like six paragraphs about the ale. Oh, it's bottom fermented. It's made from the finest hops and malts. Refreshing at any time of year, this beer is the pride of Furdock, famous far beyond the city limits. Uh, Thurwallians have been known to travel all the way to Furdock solely because of this beer. Excessive consumption can make you rather tipsy. However, affects that is drunk. Oh, God. What was CO? Courage. Oh, oh, go back. Go back. Go back. So it makes you more courageous, liquid courage, but it knocks two off your cleverness. Now, in my experience, it should knock about 20 points off your cleverness. <laughs> it should bring it down to, like, negative. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's see. Can we equip that? You know, I'm going to save that after we fight our first rat. That'll be our little treat to ourselves. Quest bag. So they give you a separate bag, I guess, for your, uh... Greetings. I am turning to you in what I right, that's just that, repeating. Two ducats. Ducats. 
So we don't have a huge inventory, just two tabs, I guess, worth of inventory. Let's see, can we figure out what this stuff does? Mighty blow. <laughs> you don't want to think too hard about what that does. Uh, must be here somewhere. Mighty blow. The mighty blow. It's a massive strike aimed at the opponent's head. Which can cause severe damage. Yeah, that tends to do severe damage, yes. Heroes, in addition to having <laughs> quests and instructions, uh, must have endurance points available to carry out a mighty blow. So if you've been having trouble with your blow, you don't have enough endurance points, obviously. Okay, and then this other one is called an aimed throw. Let's see what that does. It's probably a ranged attack. <clears throat> the attacker takes careful aim and attempts to hit an unprotected area of his target's body. The defender's armor rating is reduced by half. All right. And we also have shield fighting here. This special ability enables heroes to fight using a single-handed weapon and a shield. Your hero can use the shield to deflect Blah, blah, blah. Now, it looks... Is that an ability that we need to have on our quick bar? Now, it's not letting me drag it on that way. So maybe that's just a passive thing. Upgrade values. Okay. There we go. Looking good. Now, how do we move... If you hold the middle mouse down... Middle mouse button down, it does that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, that's no good. How do I... Okay, right mouse button rotates the camera. Left button gives him a point to follow. All right. Easy enough. Principality of Kosh. There's probably a button that highlight objects Tab is doing something, I don't, I don't know what. Alt. Whoa, didn't like that. <laughs> don't press Alt. <laughs> Control, Shift, Tab, I. There must be a button here for, like, looking at... Oh, boy. Quick slants, rotate, invert, move, world map, auto pause, tactics, J. Overhead display, O. Message logs, spells, recipes. There's a quick load. I don't see an option to do the, uh, like, highlight everything. Maybe they don't have that in this in this game. World map, mini map. Do we... I guess this is the mini map. World map. Well, anyway. Let's see, do we know where we're going? Location map shows you the area where your characters currently are. Additional information, blah, blah, blah. Where is the... This place I'm supposed to go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably this way. You know this camera's a bit, a bit fussy. I might want to lower the uh, sensitivity of this a little bit. But I mean, so far, this uh, the audio visuals are really working well for me. It's a beautiful place. A little brook, leaves, music is so peaceful. I don't know why I'm brr, all menacing. Little dust devils. Eh, let's see what Sergeant Erlen wants. Hold on. I have to exchange a few words with you. Dialogue. So we got the voice acting. I guess they don't. They don't do the lip syncing though. Eh, he sort of does. Is there a problem? I have traveled a long way and hope to reach the city of Furdock before sunset. We have so many. Yeah, this is probably a good way to handle this. You know, give a little bit of voice acting, but just have most of it for reading. And you know, he's making some gestures. I guess they didn't want to translate everything. I wonder if the original German version of this game has just everything read out. 
cloud. We have so many problems here that I don't know where to start. Man, is this St. Cloud? <laughs> At first, the reinforcements didn't turn up, and now Furdock has been sealed off. And all the while, there's a pack of bloodthirsty murderers roaming the countryside. I'd like to know what's really going on. At the moment, only dignitaries and travelers of good repute are given a pass to, to the city. Arr, yes, I'm a citizen of good repute, I am! Be that as it may, arr, I have urgent business in Furdock. You know, this is not really talking like a pirate. Is this invitation from Viscount Vorstock? Now, you probably thought I was going to say Viscount. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Viscount. <laughs> Oh, that's the benefit of an education, I suppose. Probably the only one. Uh, the Viscount is a respectable man, but you won't get past Inspector Nandor without two attestors willing to vouch for your good character. Nandor is the customs inspector. He alone decides who can enter the city of Furnock. This is building up to a quest of some sort. <laughs> then I will just have to find two attestors. Attestors? and present myself to the customs inspector. Thank you for the information, Sergeant. Absolutely riveting! <laughs> oh, God. All right, so it's a bit of a, shall we say, subtle intro. We're not fighting dragons on day one, folks. <laughs> it's not the way Germans do things. We have to uh, establish our... A test door. What is this? Guardsman Capcom. Can you talk to him? They say there's a pack of evil wolves in the dark forest. Magic wolves, even. Stay out of the woods if you don't want to be eaten alive. Sounds like a Naked and Afraid episode. Quest log. Okay. Find two attest doors. Yes, do you know where your attestors are? I need to find two attestors who are willing to vouch for me. So I notice it's not like highlighting things on this map anywhere. <laughs> so you, again, actually have to use your intelligence. Whoa, 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 what's this? What the hell? Plant lore. Along the wayside grow beneficial plants and Herbs, or if you're in the UK, I guess this is herbs. These will be useful to you on your travels. If you have a high talent, prowess, value, and survival, the places close by where such plants can be found will be marked on the location map at the top left. In order to harvest plants, you can either travel specifically to the highlighted areas or simply trust your luck and keep your eyes open while you travel through wilderness. How to highlight an area? Where is this? Where is a highlighted area? <laughs> How do I? Again, what, is there a button? I, okay, I'm going to pause this and see if there's actually a way to highlight things. Be right back. And apparently there is not. This is a little discussion about SD. Is the highlight option? No, there isn't. One would have to assume that the Germans made the game learned towards a much harder play concept than we do here in the States. Once I saw no quest markers over NPCs, I knew I'd be floating my cursor over everything. Damn you, Germany! Alright, so it said there was a plant around here somewhere. Maybe I could... Do they look different at least? <laughs> Oh, where are you, stupid plant? Herb. Look, I'll even call you Herb if you want. Just <sighs> Okay. <laughs> I guess there's a Herb around here somewhere. Oh, 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 I saw something. Whirlweed! Okay, Whirlweed. Although the inconspicuous squirrel weed can be applied directly to bleeding wounds, wounds, it is mainly used in preparations. It is ingredient in many different remedies. Okay. 
So I guess I can't pick it. I have to be closer to it. So I know what it is, but I too dumb to like pluck it out of the ground. Okay. Arr. This is a tent, a barrel. Oh, we go. oh here we go. You know, any game where you could break a barrel is a pretty good sign. Can't stand those games where you you can't smash barrels. I mean, what the hell is up with those games? Farthing gold moon leaf. Gold moon leaf. Succulent hand side hand sized green brown leaves that make an effective stimulant and healing remedy when chewed. Gall moon. Oh, it's not gold moon. It's gall moon. Somehow I know all that. One farthing. God, am I going to have to learn like a currency system? What is a farthing? Is that a more than a ducat? <laughs> ducat. Pick him up. Traveler Ketelwick. The Church of Ascendi is planning to hold a magnificent festival in celebration of the of the tenth dragon quest. Talking about the game, Dragon Quest? A little bit of RPG humor there, maybe. Wooden Barrel. Ooh, I got some more Pale Ale. Some spring water. Well, that was another one of your fun. Who's I'm talking? I'm terribly here? sorry you were robbed, but my hands are tied. But it's an ancient heirloom, and of course, I'd be extremely grateful. I I'd like to, but I have strict orders. What a fool! This isn't some waitress you have before you, but my sister Selina, the queen of the mountebanks. 2009, baby. Man. I'll go and report to Sergeant Erlen, but only for the lady's sake. <laughs> when did this game must have been at least a year before? Must have came out at least to like 2008 in Germany, right before they translated it. So it's probably more accurate to say it's like a 2008 or 2007 even game. Montsebank. Montbank. Okay, how do you say that word? Mountie Bank. Mountie Bank. Mountie Bank. Mountie Bank Queen Selina. Uh, <clears throat> um, holar, um, I am holler, ober, ober, I can't even say <laughs> I'm this dude. Arr. I'm traveling to Furdock. I over, overheard your conversation with the guard by chance. I need two attesters here willing to testify to my good character. <laughs> Do you have any idea who could help me? <laughs> Let's try the first one. Oh, then you know that I was robbed. The thief stole a very valuable diadem. It was a family heirloom. That is most regrettable. Is there anyone in particular you suspect? Hmm, well, it was. Go ahead and say it, sister. It was Draenor, your beloved Draenor. Hemlock, you old crow. Keep your nose out of my affairs. Let's problems now. Oh, stop your, uh, arr, stop your quarreling. It's a marvel. Have to keep it directing. At least tell me how I can get back to Furlock. Just ignore that little weasel. Even if Draenor is involved in all this, I don't think it was his idea. Please find my beloved Draenor. In return, I will help you to reach Furlock. How can a um, mountain bank help me? You know, I literally just looked at the pronunciation of this word and it's already gone. It's like mountain bank, I think. Uh, I am queen of the mountain banks. A queen without the a queen of the crown. <laughs> Shut up, Hamlock. Uh, all right, Selena, I will help you. Do you have any idea where Draenor might be hiding? 
Oh, something happened. An invitation from an old friend has been updated. The diet. Oh, something. Try looking for a Runkle, <laughs> a Runkle Bag Thumper. Do I really want to find somebody named Runkle Bag Thumper? He's out thumping his bag. He's an old friend of Draenor. I can't say that I like him. But perhaps you know something. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind all this. Good. We'll know more once I've found him. <laughs> so we have the exciting task of finding the bag thumper. Oh yeah. All right. What was Holwyn the Wagoneer, alchemist? What do you want from Old Aurelia? Old Aurelia. I'd like to see your wares. What can you? <laughs> I would like to see your wares. <laughs> Probably not the best opening. What can you teach me? Oh, she's a trainer. Oh, there we go. There's our plant lore. Yeah, we need to get that. Let's see, how much does it cost? Leveling points needed. So I guess I've got no, uh, no, no points, right? Balm of healing. So I guess I can't do this yet. Well, let's ask to see her wares. What? Toad vest. Finage. Salve fat. Wound powder. Weapon balm. Oh, recipes. Okay. What is a tea? Thaler, I guess. Let's try the, uh, let's try the tea. Oh, bought it. <laughs> okay. Accept. Now, how does this work? Use. Okay, so does that mean I can now do... Yes, it does. How do you use the skill, though? Talent unknown. I guess I need the point of alchemy or something. Okay. Now well, that was certainly exciting. It's like a pretty big town we're in here. Laboratory. Did we see a laboratory? Looks like it's sort of behind me there. There we go. Laboratory, not to be confused with the lavatory. So I'm guessing you have to have some points in, like, alchemy to be able to use that. Okay, I see some, uh, oh, there's a question mark. So you gotta look at the mini-map. So apparently Runkle Bag Thumper's over here thumping his bag. Hey, Runkle! What? Fetch name. God, who could ever find this guy? He was like two feet away. <laughs> Where on earth is he? My name is Hopper. Celine has asked me to find her lover. Are you Runkle? What? No, er, I mean, yes, but I had nothing to do with the theft of her diet. Congratulations, your characters have just received their first adventure points. Hey, adventure points can be used at any time to improve your character's playing values. To do this, switch to the character sheet in the progress mode by clicking on the red seal at the bottom right, right under the peg of your younger brother, who, if he's having his haircut on Monday. Uh, the number of points... Blah, blah, blah. Shields. <laughs> that may be true, otherwise you would have left town long ago. I thought you might have an idea where I could find Draenor. Perhaps. There was a strange man at Selena's show earlier. He couldn't take his eyes off of her. Whereas everyone else had their eyes glued to her beautiful body, he only had eyes for her diadem. And believe me, I know that look. That certainly does sound suspicious. So did Draenor steal the diadem? Draenor is an honorable rogue. Whatever that means. He would never steal from the woman he loves. 
Draenor is mixed up in this, and I'm sure that stranger has something to do with it. The stranger is in league with a gang of murderers. If you can find those scoundrels, then you will find then you will find Draenor. Draenor. I don't know where this hideout is, but perhaps the innkeeper at the Jagged Blade can help you. He knows the country hereabouts like the back of his hand. Hope you find them. Thanks to Selena, I can't take ten paces without arousing the suspicions of the town. Mission? What mission? Oh, he's got a mission. What mission? Me and my big mouth. Oh, well, it's too late now. Draenor and I wanted to join the Guild of Thieves in Furdock. You're actually here for our entrance examination. Well, I just gotta help this guy join the gang. I understand. Perhaps I can help you. Would you really help us? Okay, listen up. You have to complete three tasks. Yes, a pirate must complete three tasks. Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, which is why I came with here with Draenor. He's a born, born thief. I think he's at the wrong island, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'll have any problems. What do I have to do? Great, now to the tasks. There are three tasks, but I only know the first one. Completing this task will lead us to the second task. Our orders are find the chest at the Avis Shrine and steal its contents. Alright, go steal from a shrine, no problem. May Fex be with you. Thieves' crate is up here somewhere, according to our little mini map. Devotee of Prayan, pre rain. Perrin? Perrin? Picklocks. Okay, for some reason, Picklocks showed up when I clicked on this guy. What can I do for you? I'd like to see what you have to offer. What can you teach me? Treat poisons. Okay, so I guess I can learn some abilities now. I've got 10 experience points. This must be one ducat. Do I want to do treat poisons? You know, let's just see. Before I do that, let's look at our character sheet here. Okay, I can't adjust anything there. Uh, so maybe you have to get training? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can raise anything here. Upgrade values. Oh. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I just turned that on. Now I can adjust some things. So it looks like I can only level up <clears throat> skills that I have already, right? Makes sense. Can't learn anything there yet. Okay, so I can't do the attributes yet. I can do a base value. Okay, I can do that. Or, oh, it's an either or deal. So I can either level up my vitality. Adventure points, experience points. Or I could level up a talent. I guess this is telling me it takes like three points to raise that. Now it would be seven points. Okay. So I've already got some skills and treat wounds. It doesn't look like I can raise any of this stuff. Special abilities, magic talents. All right, so human nature, fast talk. Why is that negative two? Fast talk. I guess this guy's just not much of a talker. Okay, uh, I can't do pick locks yet. I could do treat wounds, willpower. Withstand great pain, or I could raise that. Why don't we just see about getting some training first? What's this guy got? Treat poisons. 
I don't quite know if that's something I need or not. Lore talents. Yeah, I don't think I want that. You know, maybe I just, I just hold on to my talents until we get into some combat and see what, see what it's all about. Okay. Locked. Okay. I guess I don't have pick lock yet. So maybe I have to learn how to pick lock. Maybe I have to be in sneak mode to <laughs> open the chest. He's really sneaky. Nope. There's another chest. Where are you going? Oh, I got my lucky charm. You can go through life without a care with this little treasure in your pocket. I think that actually does anything. If my hat feather waves, it means I'm feeling brave, protected by Aves. Aves. So I guess that is pronounced Aves. All right, so we need to learn how to pick locks, I guess, to do that quest. Okay, what else can we do here? Here's that innkeeper. Granny Goodbeat. A bear? She's saying something about a bear. What's all this about a bear cave? Uh-oh. Really starting to like this game. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with the innkeeper. Perhaps I can help you. You know, she looks kind of like a pirate. I think we'd be a good, a good team. Help me? Ha ha ha! Data of Cuckoo Melanie's helping, and don't you forget that. Oh boy. Here we go. I thought you might want someone to help you find a bear. Pa. I'm just getting bored of waiting for permission to continue on the fur dock. When I heard that a wild bear had been attacking the villagers, I thought that would be something of a challenge. I have to try to figure, I have to find her accent. It's going to take a. She looks kind of mean, you know. Well, if you're that bored, perhaps you'd like to accompany me to the dark forest. You have to be pretty bored when be hanging with me right now. By Roger's sword, why not? It certainly sounds better than listening to this blathering innkeeper all day. All right, then. I shall join you. Yeah, I like her. Rulana. Yes, let's definitely get her in the party. Excuse me, if you are looking for a new challenge, Al Stone the Hunter has not visited the village for a while now. Could you go to the dark forest and see if he's in good health? No problem. Alright, party members. You can blah blah blah. Alright, so we can talk to her. Listen up, everyone. Make her the party leader, I suppose. How do we look at her inventory? Alright, she's got some stuff. Cleaver. Arrow. So I guess we could have her either be uh, ranged or uh, melee. You know, where's like their armor class? Do they have <laughs> armor class? Oh. Astral, endurance, resist. Attack. I guess it's parry. So her parry is 10. His parry is. He's got two parries, 12 and 14. So I guess he's a little bit more of a tank than she is. And she gets her own inventory. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Let me do that. 
for Amazon Pride. Looks like we got the. Oh, she's an Amazon. Cool. She's got the same skills I do. Furdocker's crawling with smugglers. Man, this little town is like four houses here. They got all these issues. Sucker. Have you heard about the ferocious bear that has been marauding the countryside? He's even been seen here in the village. Ever heard of a K-Bar knife? Did you know that that reason they call it K-Bar was that somebody had uh, used one to kill a bear? I guess he wrote a badly spelled letter to the knife maker and the Said, you know, I used it to K a bar, call a bar, <laughs> kill a bar. <laughs> and I guess they just kind of liked the sound of that, so they they called, decided to call their whole company a K bar, a kill a bar. Very educational here at Matt Chat. Oh my god, what are we doing? Chicken. <laughs> you were granny. <laughs> that blasted bear! Are we supposed to talk to somebody over here? Innkeeper. Welcome, Welcome to the Jagged Blade. The, Jagged Blade, the best tavern in all of Avestru. A certain Runkle Bag Thupper suggested that you might know more about the Gang of Thieves. I have no idea where those outlaws might be hiding. If I did, I would have told the guards a long time ago. But if I was leading a gang of outlaws, I would hide in the dark forest on Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain is a high plateau with excellent views of the surrounding area. Okay. Oh, he's got some wares, does he? Got some ale. So it looks like everything is pointing me to uh, this dark forest. I need to learn how to how to steal. Let's see if Rulana has a. Oh wait a minute, she's not coming with. How do we? Oh, we got to select all. Gotcha. Let's see, does she have this? Picklock skill? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I guess we have to either find somebody that has that ability. Up, Let's go. Or train it ourselves. Let's see, I'm trying to keep like my eye on that little mini map over there. That's the devotee. Okay, I don't think we're heading out of town. Wait, didn't they say Runkle was some kind of thief? Who's there? A few more questions. Okay, he doesn't have a training option. See some more barrels. Oh, Wanderer! Oh, wanderer. Hey ho there, mercenary! Ask humble if you want anything. Greetings. You look as if you have a question. Hmm. Godwin and I have fought together many times. We're following Trolldar, the Silver Falls call to arms and hope to aid him in driving the orcs out of the kingdom. How about a little fight against me and Godwin? Oh, here we go. Two against two. That sounds like a fair challenge. It's always interesting to fight an Amazon. <laughs> well, I'll see. Hopefully you can prove the same for yourself. If you can defeat my friend Godwin and I, then I will give you my sword. Damn. Sounds pretty sure of himself. 
Let's begin. Okay, let's see what combat looks like in this game. Only about, what, an hour in? <laughs> We're about to fight. You know, I do like a game that... We're standing on is our fighting ring. If you leave the ring, you lose the fight. Okay. We'll fight until second blood is drawn, meaning one of us is clearly wounded or chooses to leave the field. Good luck and a good... Yeah, fun little game. Let's just whack at each other with sharp weapons. What could possibly go wrong? Combat. Not all conflicts can be resolved using wordplay. Blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of useful info, I'm sure. So, let's see. Paused. Mighty blow. Let's try that on him. For Amazon Pride. Let's try to mighty blow him twice. <laughs> Double blow. Okay. Now, how do we... I guess just on pause? Okay, looks like they did their mighty blows. Uh-oh. She's definitely taking some hits. That costs 20 endurance. I guess that's the green bar. Okay, let's try it again then. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> I guess that means he activated it. You know, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Yeah, he is not going down quick. Pretty good combat anim animation, though. What, we won that? <laughs> okay. Even though it pains me to part me. Oh, cool, we won! Yay! I thought we were toast. You should come with us. I'm sure the good knight Traldar could use you. What do you say? Okay, I guess we can't join him, but maybe we can learn something from him. Swords, fate, mighty blow, we've already got. Aim throw, we've already got. So we need five leveling points to do the sword. Not enough. Mo oh, we don't have enough money. Okay. Humboldt's broadsword, 1d f plus four. So that's clearly better than the thing I got. She's got a 1d2 cleaver. I think that's better than her cleaver. Assuming she doesn't have some points in like, uh... Oh, she does, though, look. Sabers. What is that weapon? Scrodja is considered an axe and a mace. Okay. She's got three points in axes and maces. And cleaver is considered a saber. Yeah, she's clearly specialized for that saber, so let's just give her the saber again. Alright. And I don't think I've got any points in swords. No. So I'm not sure really what these points do for me. Looks like I might want to just stick to what I'm trained to use, though, for now. Maybe I could sell the sword. I'll keep it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, but anyway, this is probably a good spot to do a quick save, or a, I guess not a quick save, but an old-fashioned save. I'm going to get, get some lunch, come back, and we'll see if we can get a little further in the game. I feel like we're at the, I feel like we're like 0.01% into the game at the moment. So see you in a bit. All right, let's get this show back on the road. <laughs> You know, lunch turned into... Uh-oh. Can't continue. Oh, I guess I have to load the game. Uh, I have to do the quick saves. Anyway, lunch turned into like a disaster. <laughs> Ended up having to come back the next day, so at least I'm nice and fresh. It's always a good thing. Okay, where are we here? Let's see. What were we doing? Um... Let's see, check out the old quest log. I think we're still looking for a testers, right? Yeah, find two a testers, gain Selena's favors, and mountebanks. 
Man, look at these quests. A lot of pieces to these quests. Find Alstone the Hunter. Find a chest and open it. Find something. A robber's hideout. Ooh, and we got our companion. That's right. Okay, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> well, I guess we can uh, head to Bald Mountain, I suppose. The mountain that is... Not join the Hair Club for Mountains. Thieves Crate. I'm guessing I can't just bash open the crate. You know, I find this a little bit easier to control than uh, Neverwinter Nights 2. That one was really tough for me. This is, I wonder if you could control it. Yeah, you can just use the uh, WASD keys. So yeah, this, you know, it, it's, it's almost like World of Warcraft controls. So that's nice. You don't really have to uh, retrain your muscle memory or anything. So that's always a positive. Let's see, how do I get across that? <laughs> the mighty warriors who can jump a small stream. Hey, is that the same? Oh, that's a crate. Get that crate amp. 2x, 1 berry. So I have two 1 berries. Now look at this. Look at that. I can't... I can't smash that barrel because it's on a bit of a wagon or something, right? It's... It's, <laughs> it's just a decorative barrel. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, is this a, yet another quest? What's the matter with this kid? Unless he's wearing a pentagram. What's going on? Novice Noddle. Little novice Noddle. Uh, what a novice. Uh, no, I haven't come across him. Who are we talking about here? Seen our master, Rakorium. He's a spellcaster. He's wearing a pointed hat and a green robe. Been missing. Okay. The most magnificent Rekura Mutagonis, Montagonis, is one of Aventuria's arc mages. He's a magister extraordinaris, respectabilitus, <laughs> honoris causa of festum. Yeah, you can tell they had some fun with this dialogue. This is just gobbledygook to you, isn't it? He's well known for his investigations into the reptilian and draconic conspiracies that threaten our civilization. But he's lost and he's wandering around the woods. <laughs> what a great archmage. You clearly are very worried about him. I guess he doesn't have Duma pick. Uh, I also try to keep an eye on him, his magnificence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I will. Where'd you last see him? We were at the barber shop. Not. We were at the inn, studying the local traditions and appreciating the nuanced delights of fur doc. Hell ale. I'm sensing a theme about this fur duck pill. I'm going to drink some very soon. <laughs> fur duck <Doc> pill. <laughs> this is such a German game. Oh my god. All the stereotypes. Fur duck gold, actually. A fantastic beer. The pinnacle of Corinthian <laughs> brewing. Don't you agree, Noddle? An hour spent with that beer is an hour well spent. But we couldn't quite decide what the aftertaste reminded us of. You know, if there was ever a game made for Matt Chat, Drake would say. You know, I don't remember it being this good. Alright, alright. Do you know in which direction Recorium went? This is like a comfort game. It's actually comforting to play this. All the crap going on, you know. See, the innkeeper said that Master Recorium mumbled something about gathering herbs and then left in the direction of the dark forest. Okay. It looks like everything in the world is in this dark forest. Maybe we'll find a ham there. I presume you were distracted by your beverages. Yeah, I know that feeling. Thank you, and may Hasindi watch. Oh, it's... where'd that come from? <laughs> oh. Where did it... 
Where is he storing that tankard? <laughs> I guess up under that robe somewhere. That's a scary thought. Well, thank you, and may Cindy watch over you. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it says, please don't mention any reptiles, snakes, dragons, or other scaly creatures when you find him. He'll only get excited. <laughs> uh, perhaps we'll manage to identify the source of that smoky aftertaste. Alright, let's try the ale. Furdock Pale Ale. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh. I guess there's no animation. He's drunk for a few seconds. <laughs> what did that do for me, though? Anything? It's supposed to give you a bit of a buff, right? A courage bonus, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to give me plus one courage. I guess that only lasts for a few seconds, though. Huh. So you have to drink immediately before battle. Alright, I see a cave. Let me see if I can adjust this... this camera setting a little bit. That'd make it easier. Camera sensitivity. There we go. Let's see if we can knock that down to maybe 0.8. Yeah, that's a little better. I think I should probably go down a little bit more. Let's try 0.7. Still a little bit fast. Let's see if I knock it all the way down to 0.5. Try that. Uh, I think 0.6 is going to be the right. The Goldilocks setting. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's about right, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Oh, here's some uh, green spots. What is that? Whirl, whirlweed. I still can't pick it up, though, I don't think. Yeah, I'm that type of guy, too. I just hate not being able to harvest stuff. Earn a good beat. Huh? Wait a moment, please. I believe you have something that belongs to me. A lot of people have tried to tell me that. Oh, for your sake, that this really is yours. What the hell? Can you tell me the code word, please? What? In the... Did I miss something? Something about good beat? Oh. Let's see. Selena. That doesn't seem to be right. If I, did I find something that had to do with a code word? I don't even know what the heck they're talking about. Maybe I shouldn't have talked to her yet. Uh, let's see. I'm busy. Speak to my what husband. What is that about? Be. I believe you have He's something that belongs to me. Enter password. Okay, I got no clue what this is all about. Should, probably shouldn't try it too many times. Alright, where's the apple tree then? Apple tree, apple tree. Let me see, is it on this map? Cave. Ball Mountain. Is it? Anvil. Where's this apple tree at? That looks kind of like a... <laughs> Am I supposed to know what an apple tree looks like? I don't see anything with apples on it.
Big tree on the map. Oh, there's a roe deer over there. Look, that's a tree. Oh. Uh, okay. Not sure what to do about that. Just continue. Here's a guardsman. Hey, you. Be careful. It's not safe in the dark forest. Wild animals and robbers are on the loose there. In the dark forest? You don't say. There's a, it says there's an anvil down here somewhere. Let's see what that's about before we go into the dark forest. I guess, I, could, I guess I'm zoomed out all the way on that. Okay, who we got here? Blacksmith. What do you want? <laughs> a dwarven blacksmith? What? Oh, he can teach us how to be a blacksmith. That'd be pretty cool. What do you want? Uh, let's see what's he got. Leather strips, sandstone, I guess materials for making... Uh, what do you use a whetstone for? HP plus one for ten strikes. Well, that might be useful. Three talers. Thalers? Talers? Instructions for throwing knives. Instructions to make a whetstone. Let me guess, you have to have blacksmithing to... Yeah, I don't... Do I, I don't think I've got that talent. Let's see. Yeah, uh, nope. Let me do that. So let's hold off on that. Good choice. Toolkeeper Nandor. Stop! In the name of the Count, no one may cross the bridge to Furdock without a pass. This looks a little bit like that Mythbusters guy, Jamie. Soldier, I'm Hollower Orberdosen, and I demand that you step aside. You cannot enter Furdock without a pass. Hoo -hoo. Unfortunately, I have a funny hat. I lost my pass. My good name is not enough for you. Then please tell me how I can apply for a new pass. Yes, I need a new pass. Furdock is closed to all travelers. All my citizens of Furdock and those traveling with a pass. Ah. Uh, okay, this is the guy I need to... <laughs> please, please. This is what we're trying to get all this a tester business for. Hey, there's a... What is this? Prince Prancelot? Of Scufflewick. Ah, lad! So you want to have a civilized conversation over a mug of good Verdock Pale Ale, is that it? <laughs> I wouldn't say no to a nice beer and some good company. Where are they pulling these tankers out of? That's what I want to know. Magic. Tell me, what do you think of Furdock's beer? Does it live up to its legendary reputation? I'm, I'm going to think this game was sponsored by Furdock Pale Ale. By all the ancient dragons, indeed it does. It's the best brew of the entire pie off not of all Laventuria. And I know a lot about beer. Come, my friend, enjoy. Cheers, Prancelot. And by the way, your helmet is quite remarkable. Well, you never know, you might own a trophy like this yourself one day soon. Those mighty wings. <laughs> is it a winged helmet such as those worn by Thrawalian pirates? Indeed it is, my Rondra. This is the helmet of a true hero. This is the thing to wear when you face a dangerous opponent. Why, even the mighty dragon Umbracor would shake with fear at the sight of this helmet. Do you want to know how I won it? Please do tell. It must be 15 years ago by now. Like all good stories. Oh my god, how long does this go? Uh, Griffin passed. Suddenly the door was wrenched open. Uh, who was standing there? An orc, perhaps? The mighty Thorwallian. I, I think I'm a pirate. Uh, led on by the gigantic Hetman Hegelek, the greatest hero in all of Thurwall, slayer of sea snakes and the scourge of Droll. Upon his hand, <laughs> upon his head, 
He wore this helmet. He's been dead for centuries. Agilic was as strong as ten bears. He was built like a tree trunk, and he had more scars in his face than a company of Orc War veterans. And do you know what he used? His famous cy cyclopean, cyclopean, cyclop cyclopean <laughs> sword for? No, what? Tell me. He used it as a toothpick. Uh, I won't stand for it. If there's one thing I won't stand for, it's folks insulting the good name of Ferdox Pale Ale. Uh, yeah. Okay, attacked. Two axes. Bam, bam, bam. Then I'll watch my counterattack. Yeah, this, this is a lot of dialogue and, and story just for like this opening area. I mean, holy cow, if they keep this up, it's, <laughs> it's going to be quite a while before you finish this game. Alright, claim the helmet. Between the two of us, drink eight barrels that night. Surely you exaggerate. Well, you're just trying to pull my leg. It would spoil the both of our fun if I told you more. And we thank the kind goddess Perrain for blessing us with Ferdox Pale Ale. Well, of course, fairly. <laughs> A lengthy dialogue, little funny up, story. Everyone. All right, all right. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Actually, I'm the step by step. I'm the tank here. Get back. Well, what to do now? I guess we need to try to go ahead and get into that forest. What's this about that thieves crate we've already looked at? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we could either cross here or maybe go north. Let's try this. While I'm at it, what are the keys for this? Quick save. You know, why don't keyboards just have a button called quick save and quick load? Somebody do that, please. Quick load. Quick Quick save is F5. You know, if you get these things mixed up and click the wrong button, it is such a pain. I mean, I honestly think keyboards need to have that button. Like, it should be built in. Okay. I mean, we got all these useless buttons here. Who, who uses, like, crunch screen, pause break? I don't even know some of these buttons. I, I've never even used those before. Scroll lock. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should learn how to use that. Scroll lock. It sounds kind of familiar. I think that was like back in the DOS era, right? You could, you know, like, durr, then hit scroll lock so you could see what was scrolling past so quick. You know, I bet you if you came out with a keyboard that had quick load and quick save on it, you'd make a million dollars. <laughs> You need to patent it, though. Uh-oh. It auto-saved. That probably means I'm about to get my ass kicked. You know, I just noticed my pirate guy has a, a drinking horn. <laughs> I guess that's just part of his costume. How cool is that? Oh, oh, there's a wild boar over here. Yeah. Get that wild boar. Where is he? No, oh, it paused. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we can activate our little... Good choice. You know, I'm kind of curious. Why don't we just for shits and giggles? Let's put the... Uh, Let's put the bow on her. Try that out. Drink blood, my sword. You know why not? Try it out. Okay, she hit him with. She's doing pretty good with that bow. Boom! Look at that. Oh! Oh! Yeah, she's good with that bow. Animal lore. We can use the. I mean, this game is almost has as much stuff as a freaking MMO. <laughs> I mean, wow. 
Animal lore talent to disembowel dead animals. So this is like skinning, I guess. You can also sell them. Yeah, I would love to have that. Pretty sure I don't have it yet. Oh, there's another boar. Okay, boy. Wounds. Uh-oh. One of your characters has just received a wound. In addition to the physical damage resulting from a drop in your vitality, wounds may be caused if one of your characters receives more damage points at once. Then, oh my gosh, this is complicated. Apparently, willpower is a check on this. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. There's a check on this. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, so I can't skin it yet because I don't have skinning. Alright, let's see. Wound. Can I just use a bandage? He's doing something. Failed. <laughs> oh, let me guess. There's a talent associated with this. Is it willpower? Survival, maybe? Oh, treat wounds. Duh. Alright, so he's got... Oh, she's got six points. Now, can they treat each other's wounds? Let's see. Simple bandages. Oh, I guess you can't use it on somebody. That sucks. Let's try that, maybe. Oh, there we go. Tend my wounds. Failed! Come on, I'm gonna get through all my bandages here. Wasn't that guy in Game of Thrones killed by a wild boar? Ah! Okay, is there some other way I'm supposed to do this? Matter of fact, can she, uh, can I raise up her... Yeah, look, I can give her a couple more points in it. Maybe that'll help. Okay, try it again. Ah! Fail! 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 Come on! This must be a nasty wound. Let's see, what else can I do? Man, alive. I don't have these herbal skills. Is there like a rest? Oh, I'm starting to think I really should have read that stupid text. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Okay, we'll try. I guess keep trying this. Oh, crap on a stick. It did auto save before this battle. Okay, I get it, I get it. Where's my journal? Oh. Okay, so it's showing me the stats here. Treat wounds. Difficulty increased by zero. Failed, failed, failed. Hmm. Tap eight. She's got a one bonus. Failed. Difficulty. I'm trying to get a sense of like what is she trying to get to? There we go. <laughs> it only took 15 bandages, but <laughs> we got it. Alright, quick save. Really hope I don't get wounded again. What is TAP 8? No idea. Okay, anyways. Let's go. Boys are dispatched. 
How many arrows does she have left? She's only got eight arrows left. <laughs> well, so I don't know if... I should, probably should have bought a whole bunch of arrows. You know, it's one of those things I think a lot about. Is, does it make a game more fun if you have, like, ammunition to have to keep buying more arrows and rocks and things? Or are you better off just kind of ignoring that mechanic and just basically making it infinite? I kind of lean towards uh, making you have to get ammunition just because it's just really unrealistic otherwise. I mean... But, I don't know. I remember when World of Warcraft you used to have to get bullets for your hunters and stuff. Pretty sure they did away with that. There's always that fine line between realism and just getting rid of something that's annoying. Suspension of disbelief, you know. You can just kind of pretend like, yeah, in their downtime these guys are just making arrows or buying arrows on their own. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to find in this cave. You know, I'm going to go ahead and level this guy up. I think he's got a couple of points, right? Yeah, I still haven't quite got my handle, handle on this idea. So we've got combat talents, talents. He's got his attributes over there. So I, it says he's got 63 adventure points. If I go in here and start raising this, it takes... You know, I guess this is just a straight-up point-based system. So that would take eight of these experience points to raise his uh, vitality. But why can't I raise other stuff? I don't quite understand that. Combat talents. So he's got combat talents, he's got... These kind of talents. Now, if I try to raise that... Yeah, everything's coming out of this experience points pool. So maybe, like, adventure points is just the total number that you accumulate over the game, and these experience points are what you spend. Okay, so I'm, I'm letting uh, my Amazon, Rulana, she's going to do the uh, treat wounds, so I don't want to double up here. It's probably not useful to have multiple characters with the same skill. I'm going to... That's, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> oh, what would be good for him? You know, willpower, I think, was... Yeah, this is for wounds, so let's go ahead and put a couple points into that, maybe. Try to prevent those wounds from happening. Yeah, and you, I can see that as you raise this up, it looks like it costs more and more experience points. Okay, that makes sense. Perception reduces your chances of being ambushed or falling into a trap. Uh, it costs 12 points to raise that. Let's take a look. So we could raise this vitality. It's only 8 points to raise that. I think that's probably worth it. And then we've got our combat points. Let's go ahead and see about... Didn't he pick up a sword a while ago? Yeah, broadsword. So this is a weapon... Yeah, talent swords. And it's quite a bit better than... Well, it's 1D plus 4 instead of 1D plus 3. Humboldt's. A little bit better than his axe. Let's take a look here. So I, that's already maxed out. Interesting. I wonder if that opens it back up again at some point. <clears throat> Swords. I can't even raise that. So these guys are pretty much locked in, I guess, to their starting talents unless I get some training. So if I'm looking at this right, there's no real reason to, to put points there in the combat abilities. What do you need for this, like, knockdown? So let's, uh... 
I think a point of perception. Now what is this human nature? A social talent. <clears throat> Probably not very useful. Be persuaded to perform certain actions. You know, I guess it just depends on if he... You know, I'll go ahead and put a couple points in there. Why not? He's a fast talker. You know, a pirate probably does need to be a fast talker. You know, just from a role-playing angle, that makes sense. Sometimes you just do things because it... Defensive. Aggressive. Interesting. Okay, select them all. But anyway, sometimes you just do things Here for role-playing purposes. And maybe it's not the best choice just in terms of gameplay mechanics, but it's kind of more fun. That's really what we're after here. What is going on here? Ooh, it's kind of creepy. You know, it's a good-looking map. Corridor. See what I mean? I mean, these graphics are, are... You know, this could be a modern game as far as I'm concerned. How much better could it really get than this? Oh, perception just clicked on. <laughs> Thank fix! You've just noticed a trap. The, the disarm traps comes into play here. Oh boy. And I don't have that because neither one of my characters... Is there like a thief character back there in the village somewhere I was supposed to pick up? I bet you anything that was... There's probably a thief that I can add to the party back in the... Back in the town. Because neither one of my characters here have uh, disarmed traps. So that will probably kill me. Or at least damage me. We can try it. Call traps. Mm -hmm. it looks like I don't even have like a disarm option so let's just can I make a note here somehow zoom in you know some games will let you add your own notes to the to the maps I guess this game doesn't have that option not a huge deal do the door You know, one thing I like about this this game in this dungeon, it really does make you feel like that claustrophobic, kind of hard to get around vibe that is appropriate, I think. Oh, I heard something. <laughs> Let's try sneaking. <laughs> oh, that is just painfully slow. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Unlike smaller species... Oh, wolf rat! Unlike smaller species of rats, wolf rats will occasionally attack humans that can be found both in the wilderness and in the Delta Bow. Oh. Moments to savor, moments to cherish. Let's get this ass. This rat. This ash rat. <laughs> I'm delirious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your aim shot. You use your mighty blow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh, get him with an axe. Oh, God. He's out of endurance points. Who is she attacking? Why are you attacking that one? Boom. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even get a scratch, man. It just doesn't... Oh, I didn't even get the tail! Sliced off tail of a wolf rat, apparently prized by goblins for making soup. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful world. Oh. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful world we live in. Look at that. Kind of makes me tear up a little bit. It's just... 
This doesn't get better than fighting rats in a little, little dungeon, a little cave like this. You gotta cherish these moments. Fortunately, she's almost out of arrows. I don't know what's... I guess I can switch her to the cleaver when the moment comes. I'm almost tempted to reload and just keep doing that battle over and over again. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Please don't tell me that's the only rats in here. Up, 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 up. You know, another nice thing about this, it, you know, you, you got all these little things that are like bugging you, like you can't get the herbs, you can't get the skinning, uh, you can't pick the locks. You know, it's giving you like that desire. I need to keep playing. I need to try to find that character that can do those things or I need to learn those skills myself. It's, you know, it's pretty good, like setting up these little things for you to look forward to. Oh my, that's a bear. Is that a bad guy? Ooh, I don't know about a bear. I don't have my K-bar. Uh-oh, we're going for it. Okay. She's only got a couple arrows left, so I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see. Oh. This is probably that bear that the villagers were talking about, too. Oh, what happened? Does she have any arrows left? No, she's out of arrows. Okay, pop on the cleaver! Oh, I think we're gonna get him. I guess he just got knocked down. Come on, get him! Get that bear! Oh! Oh no, look! He's almost dead! Ah! <laughs> that was look, look. He's got like four points. Oh my god! Oh, I got this guy's teeth. All right, how do I? Is there like a camp? Camping? Uh, how does that work in this game? It's, I guess he automatically just recharges. Maybe there's no camp. Camping. Man, I wish I could skin that thing. <laughs> save! Oh, Lord, save! <laughs> okay. Can I just munch on stuff? That gives me a point if I eat that. Spring water... Could be used for brews. I guess that's not really gonna help. I'm guessing eating poison is probably not gonna help me. I don't know. Let's take a look at these controls again. Let's see, is there anything here like camp, rest, tactics, J, special abilities, V. All right, so let's try the. Let's see what tactics J and V do. Tactical modes. Okay, so that's what that does. It just switches this up. V. Okay. I don't think that's going to help me at all. You know, she's got a point in shield fighting, but she doesn't have a shield. It's kind of weird. Do you think she would have come with a shield? Okay, I guess we'll just kind of take it easy till he rests up. You know, do I have any bandages? No, I used all those bandages. I don't think I can craft anything. No. Okay. Yeah, usually they stick some treasure in, like, the... You know, after you fight the big baddie. Don't see anything though. I'm gonna really search carefully though. So I just know they stuck something in here. Oh, there's a skeleton. Robber's emblem. The emblem of the notorious Ball Mountain Robber Band. Not to be confused with the 
Ball Mountain Rubber Band. Oh, there's some more bandages. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and pick them up. You know, I guess I probably shouldn't waste these bandages, but, uh... Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Because, I mean, he, he's going to heal up by himself, so maybe I'll just hold off on the bandages. Okay, let's creep around and back here. What do we got here? You know, since you don't have that automatically highlight option, it does make you want to look around more and scroll your mouse over things. Again, it's kind of like the ammunition. Does that make it more fun? In some ways, yeah. Yeah, sure. Makes you a little bit more attentive to your surroundings. Ooh, this is pretty. Uh, can I get up here? So apparently this bear has eaten a couple of these robbers. And yeah, there's another robber some more. Uh, what is this Lucky Charm business? Got three of these things. No idea what it does. Let's give uh, our Amazon one. Can't wear it. I don't. It doesn't look like it actually does anything. <laughs> oh well, just give her one anyway. Okay. Looks like a boat. What is this? I guess I can't go that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I bet you there's like a little rock here somewhere I can click on and find some loot. Yeah, like, I oh, can't get back there. Come on, bear cave. There's got to be more here. Quite nice. What's it? No. Nope. Well, maybe I can survive the trap. <coughs> I can find my way back to that trapped area. I can try that, I suppose. Okay, I think it was through here. Yeah, there it is. Well, let's try the old save. Traps. By fex! Your characters have just walked into a trap. Uh, vitality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it gave me a stupid wound For again. Amazon Pride. Let's see, does she have enough to... Oh, good. She got first try. Okay, I'll keep that then. Let's go on in. <laughs> An odd looking rock. Must be from one of those discount Unity asset vendors. Okay, odd looking rocks. I get it. A stone. There does seem to be something magical about it, though. As if it contained a living creature? Weird. Is it like a piece of amber? <clears throat> hmm, I say. Hmm. Uh-oh. I see some... Oh, there we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Yeah, use your ability. Use your ability. I knew there was more rats in this, this cave. Oh, frats. Oh, frats. Oh, look, there's a little, uh, little break room in there. Let's get inside the break room. 
Where's the vending machine? Oh, there's some bolts. Let me guess, those will not work in a bow. <laughs> Is it really true that you just cannot fire a bolt in a regular bow? Is there some reason why that's impossible? What was she saying? She said something. It's more of these odd looking rocks. Ooh, there's a chest over there. And a wooden barrel. Wish I could find some arrows, that'd be nice. But you know those bandages will come in handy too. <coughs> Rusty nails? <coughs> <coughs> All nuts. Ah, look, it's like sparkling over here. Okay. Whoa, what in the God's name is that? Let's open up this chest. No, he's locked. I guess I can't break it open. Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. Yeah, let's keep on exploring, man. Oh, another... Probably well, we got wounded twice? Good choice. Ugh. I had my lucky charm. Listen up, everyone. Man, I really, really need a thief or a rogue. Probably too much to hope that she'd be able to. She got it again, first try. Oh, okay. Well, I guess she's gotten a whole lot better as a medic. So I guess it's not that big of a deal to get caught in those traps. I still don't especially like it. Man, how big is this cave? Oh, wow. We got a lot to explore here. <clears throat> Some more barrels. Oh, there's some arrows. Good. What? Some more bolts. Two arrows is probably not enough to bother. Hey, there's that arc mage. Before we go talk to him, though, I'll see some more barrels. You know, it's almost as much fun fighting barrels as it is rats. <laughs> not. <laughs> Get it. Get it. <clears throat> the real challenge of the game is. Positioning the mouse just right so you can pick up stuff. Can I give him like multiple orders here? Huh. That works pretty well, I guess. Well, I'll go back! I guess some of those barrels were. A what? Noose snare. A new snare that can be used to trip an unwary opponent. <clears throat> Man, do they put some work into this game or what? Whole lots of options. A lot of gameplay mechanics. Woo wee! Guessing this is all derived from that. Oh, and by the way, I figured out the, like the DSA, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, it's uh, it's not the dark eye in German. It's like Das Schwarz Augi or something like that. So it does match. Just as I suspected. There's another locked chest. What a tease. It's Gandalf. Look at that mustache. It's beautiful. Man, now that is an Archmage. Are you Master Recorium? <clears throat> yes, that's me. These paintings. I would. Well then, what do you want from me? 
You seem a little confused, Master Recurium. I was sent here to find you. Won't you come outside? Your apprentices your apprentices are worried about you, blah blah blah. <clears throat> Who are those two useless I mean, where are my apprentices? I'm not your he thinks I'm his apprentice. oh my god. Well, that's a very nice name. Of course you aren't my apprentice. You know, when I was young, oh, what was her name again? You know, I... The older I get, the more I relate to characters like this. You know, the less silly they seem, and just the more heroic. <laughs> I mean, you know, this guy's probably been through a lot. He's played a lot of games like this in his day. <clears throat> he's just like a professor, you know. You were asking him for a letter of recommendation. <laughs> What are all these strange boulders? They were disciples of the lizards and the dragons, but I fear my spell they may wake up again soon. Oh, I got a wizard. Oh, he joined the party. Cool. Guest character. Oh, he's a guest character. You cannot equip them or influence their behavior in combat. Well, let's see. Can he pick locks? <laughs> Probably not. I can't even I can't even look at him. Yeah, he is totally out of my jurisdiction. A bit of money, a Belmark leaf. Weapon ball. <laughs> Weapon ball. The slightly singed smelling silver paste increases the effectiveness any metal oh yeah I was looking at that earlier <coughs> let's go ahead and put it on I guess can't hurt huh says it's good for 10 strikes I don't think it's the timed use let's see how that work Did it do anything yeah, weapon ball plus one DP. Okay, so I guess that works. Got the mighty Archimage Recurium. Things ought to be a little bit easier now. I guess he doesn't have a spell that can open up the chest. Yep, don't you walk past that barrel. <clears throat> A mouse trap. This mouse trap just needs some bait. I can't tell if these are just like fun items or can I actually do something with this? Let's see, drop it. No, don't discard it. It's probably just a flavor flavor item. Junk. Okay, now here's the little campsite. Wooden barrels. Or a weed. More barrels. Well, at least I'm getting a lot of money. Do you have any barrels lying around your dungeon? Just a couple of coins in the bottom? <clears throat> I guess it's the thing to do. I never quite understood that. Oh boy, what to go? Oh, this is the robber's cave. So this is a whole like cave network. We've got the bear cave, we've got the robber's cave. Must be the Nick cave in here somewhere. Uh oh. I think that trap I think that trap over there is chested. More bandages, more money. That's locked anyway. Oh, it's sparkling. I guess I have to come back here once I find a rogue or learn how to disarm traps and pick locks. 
Okay, looks like I need to go north. Why oh, is there nothing down here? Yeah, I can't get in the water. Don't go near the water. Figure out how to cook. Pretty sure there's cooking in this game. Okay, so I need to go, looks like, back the way I came. North, around that bend. Old mine shaft. Man, I gotta say that I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> it's really good. Really wondering, like, why? Did... Uh oh. Looks like we got a little bit of a sitch up here. Oh, these are just a straight up fight. Okay. I just hope that weapon bomb is gonna do the trick. Have a charmy matey. What's that wizard doing? Oh, he's getting attacked by something. That's not good. <laughs> oh, he's just a temporary character anyway. Ooh, I gave him a wound. Oh, they're both going for the wizard. I guess he must have a high. Whoa! Whoa, did you see that? Holy cow, he's got some kind of fire. That was cool. <laughs> he's still doing it. That is cool. You gotta watch him. It looks like he's getting a lot of uh, attention. Damn, locked chests. I wish just by default it would just always select all when I'm not in combat. Okay, we've got a little bit left to explore here up to the north. And I think I might have enough arrows now. No, just seven. Oh well, I didn't give it to her. <clears throat> Not sure what good these knives are. Probably just crap to sell. Yeah, 11 arrows, probably not enough to bother with. Wait, can I get... What is this? I guess it's a sealed off passage. You know, there's got. Oh, come on now. There's got to be something up there. I can see a word. <laughs> there's a word. There's got to be a way north from here. Okay, that's the only way. Okay, go back. Come on now. Is there a way to blow this up? There's some dynamite, something like that. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, get him. I want to see these rats on fire. Come on, wizard. He's thinking about it. There he goes, look at it. It was dead already. But still, <laughs> you tried. I notice he's got an extra bar there, astral energy. I'm starting to figure, slowly but surely, figure out this dark eye system, and I gotta say it's it's pretty good. I like like it so far. A little bit different. Seems to work well for this kind of game, though. Now I wonder, you think those rats are just randomly generated? Start a new file there. You think those rats are randomly spawned or they... There's a certain amount. Well... Gah. Look at this. Uh. 
I don't know what the dealio is. Maybe I have to come back here later and get some uh, some explosives. This is a good look at pirate I got here, I think. Oh, Halar. Oh, here we go again. Let's get him. Halar. I like his pants. Amazonian looks great, too. I need to get her a shield, though, I think. <laughs> he always seems to get that spell off right at the end of the battle, after everything is dead. Let's check out down here. With this cave for now. For Silas Teleport. Oh, he's gone. Okay, well, I guess that's our first little batch of quest done. Okay. Well, should we go back and get our quest rewards? Something's up here. Probably another boar. Better save it just in case we get Let me see. in over our heads. And I'll give you your bow back. Okay, let's do this. I really do like this, this engine here. I mean, you could do a lot with this setup here. I mean, I've only got one ability at the moment. I'm sure I'll get more. I don't... This is kind of a... Instead of having multiple timers for all of these different abilities, you just have uh, this endurance thing that slowly builds up. So you really only have this one thing to have to worry about recharging. For Amazon Prime. Oh. Is she out of arrows, I guess? Wow, that did not last long. It also looks like you can't adjust your armor in combat. Man, these boars are tough. How can I hit this thing? Damn. Yeah, those boars are not, not to be played with. Oh, wounded again. Wait, how do Let's I get this go. little... You know, before I had a little thing over here. Oh, message log. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, man away. What's she doing? What did she fail to do? <laughs> She have a point in that up, animal lore? Yeah, she's got a couple points in that. Okay. I guess I could bump that up a bit. No, well, maybe not that high. Did she have this before? Plant lore? And, uh... Oh, I guess I leveled up big time. Okay, that's good. Let's see, can she learn any... What has she got? What is her weapon again? Uh, cleaver. It is a saber. Okay, let me see if I can give her a couple points in that then. Oh, she's maxed out, it says. And she's got a, sh a bow, too. Put a point in that. 
don't think she. Wait, we can. What is that? <laughs> What's coming on? <laughs> Mighty blow. That becomes knocked down. Do I get an ability? I don't know what's going on here. No, I don't think I can do that yet. Okay, let's go back to these talents. Give us some points of animal lore, plants lore, survival. Okay. And I don't think she can do anything else. Now, my dude. Give a point of willpower. Maybe do another perception point. Put some over there. And I think a couple, at least a point of vitality would be good to have. Okay, now let's bump up his... Uh... Oh, he's got axes maxed out. Okay. Can't do swords. Well, I guess I really got nothing better to do than just keep pumping this stuff up then. Perceptions is, perception is usually a pretty good thing to have. Let me do that. Well, that was good. All right, she got it that time, but I'm out of bandages, I think. I got a couple more. Let's see if this works. Got him. Okay, he's back up to snuff. All right, so she should be able to skin some of these animals in. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got a wild boar skin and two leather strips. That is awesome. Okay, take a look at the map. Yeah, I think we should go back and see about getting our quest quest rewards. You know, it definitely has a bit of a World of Warcraft vibe to it. It's like what World of Warcraft should be like. <laughs> okay, where was that? Straight ahead. You know what? Why don't we go down here and get some uh, get some arrows, stock her up. Maybe look for a shield too. What do you want? You know, I I think it would probably be worth the. Uh, Getting this blacksmith talent. Let's see if I can get enough money to do it. Let's see, I could sell some of this stuff, right? Uh, it says this is used for making soup. I don't know if that's for real. It's, I don't know what stuff here is just uh, a joke. Let's see, how do I, can I sell this? So that. Like, surely I don't need rusty nails. <laughs> he says, <laughs> with such conviction. You know, there's probably a huge quest where you need to have a. Uh, you know, the, I'm going to operate under the assumption that if it was a quest item, I wouldn't be able to sell it. P perhaps foolish? I don't have enough recipes yet to know what's what's used for making stuff and what's just uh, junk. But anyway, we'll get a little gold. Now let's see if I can learn how to blacksmith. Not enough money. Oh, you need 10 ducats for that. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's going to be a while before I have that much money. Let's just see about some arrows then. 
instructions. Oh, so this will tell me at least what I would need. So yeah, don't sell leather strips, charcoal, and steel. Sandstone. Various types of wood. Sledgehammer. You know, I don't see... Um, I guess he does not sell things like arrows. Okay, fair enough. He is a blacksmith. Not a Fletcher. Oh, here's a merchant. Maybe he has arrows. What do you want? Cloth shirt, kettle helm, dwarven leather gloves, bandages, wooden shield. Okay. Ooh, that's an expensive shield. He doesn't have arrows either. What is up with that? Listen up, everyone. Right, that'll. Can I compare? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, she doesn't have a helmet though, right? Let's get her that helmet. Is, are greaves the same thing as gloves? I'll check that out in a minute. Let's just... You know, I don't want a hundred bandages, but maybe like... <laughs> maybe like five. Okay, except... There's a helmet. No, there's a separate slot there for gloves. Excellent. So I'll get her some gloves, too. Yeah. What? Item cannot be worn by this ray. Oh, you're kidding me. So it's like literally dwarven gloves. You know what aren't dwarven hands? Those hands are the, like human sized. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Why should these gloves be only for a... Uh... Oh. Stupid dwarf. It's a scam. No reason I shouldn't be able to wear a pair of dwarven gloves. It's not like dwarven pants, I'd understand. It was dwarven boxer shorts, you know. Actually, I should be able to wear those too. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the apple tree. Oh, no, you don't, Georgie. As long as my name is Barnabas Goodbeat, you can keep your hands off that tree. <laughs> George, you must be mad. That ain't and never has been your apple tree. Now get out of my way. <laughs> but of course that's my tree. Great grandfather Ludo Goodbeat planted it with his own bare hands. That's ridiculous. The metal bolts were practically the founding fathers of Baba's tree. And that means this tree belongs to us. Will you just get out of my way, Barnabas? I've got a tree to cut down. Cut it down? You know, it's this good voice acting. Georgie. It's Georgie. Really? Okay, what do we need to do here? Hey, you. You look sensible enough. Perhaps you can help us settle this little argument we're having about my apple tree. Good, I shall try to help you, but first you must explain to me what this is all about. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Fifteen hours later, we'll get to the bottom of this. Did you hear that, Georgie? Someone else will decide. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Wait a moment, why are you so keen to chop down the tree? It blocks Mighty Preos' view of my meadow. It blocks Mighty Preos' view of my meadow. It blocks out the light and takes all the water out of the ground. And when there is a storm, that tree creaks so loud that I cannot sleep at night. Best apples in the Shire. Chop it down. I think we just want to give him some of the apples, right? Yeah, share the harvest, exactly. I never thought about that. The last thing I want to do is call down the wrath of the goddess upon my family. Well, then perhaps we should share the apples. Yes. Okay, you pathetic wretches. I guess that's what they say is true. It's business as you... Oh, he doesn't like that solution. I shall forget that it was you who saved my apple tree. I should not forget that it was you who saved my apple tree. 
So maybe that wasn't the optimal solution. It says the quest has been updated though. Let's see. What was I supposed to talk to him for? I still don't have that code that his wife wants. Holler, Ober Dawson. I found you at last. <laughs> you were suddenly gone. <laughs> yeah, we get it. He's a bit addle brained. Got his letter of recommendation. Good. And they're teleported out. Ooh, I got a hundred more experience points just for that. Now let's see if I can. Uh, I think I need to find a vendor. What else was I supposed to do? I'll have to look it up. Friend, you've arrived just at the uh, right moment. Oh, we got a human Come nature check now. Poor Traveling merchant have lost a small parcel somewhere along the way to Furdock. What's in the parcel? Some pipe tobacco. A lot of money for some tobacco, apparently. It's my favorite blend, Sonoto Gold Leaf. You know, I've never really got in like smoking a pipe. <laughs> Believe you, Gallo. Or cigars, you know, anything like that, but it's always kind of intrigued me. It's bad for you, so it must be good. It's impossible to pull the wool over your eyes. You know, anything that would annoy your mother is probably a good thing. Kosh bunting tongues. I trade in delicacies. The parcel actually contains a packet of Kosh bunting tongues. These tasty morsels are among the most popular and expensive of my wares. I can't tell if this guy is wearing a shirt. <laughs> is this like the same color as the skin? That's weird. It's a nude shirt. I need the parcel. Okay, get the parcel. To the jagged blade. Okay, the we got a little updated dialogue here so we can confront him with what Runkle told us. Yeah, it looks like the same old thing, though. Okay. Let's see, who else is here worth talking to? Can't talk to her. It's weird. Thieves crates. Woodcutter. Hey there. What's up? A lot of these human nature dialogue options now. Do you like some of this elm wood? I'd love to have some wood. Okay, got some wood. Da -da -da. Checking out the barnyard. Couple barrels back here. Picked up a bear trap. That would have been handy a while ago. Man, I can't believe you didn't go into that house and get the bear trap before you went in that cave. Uh oh, don't do that. You know, there's got to be somebody around here that sells arrows. What can I do? What can he teach me? 
Treat poisons. You know, that would probably be a good thing to know. Let's go ahead and learn it. It did cost a whole ducat, but uh, I think now she can... What was it called? Treat uh, poisons. Yeah, so we can pop, pop. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Put some points into that. So if we do come across something that poisons us, I guess we'll be all right. Go ahead and just pump everything up. Uh, all characters need this. I don't think so. Then maybe some. It still says that's maxed out. Yeah, everything's maxed out. So let's see. Uh, she's she out of points already. Okay, I guess that's. Take another point into that. I want to see if I can teach him some skills before I waste all his uh, points. Trouble is, we need money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Not good. Get out of there. There we go. There's a guy. Who's this? Brito Bento. Greetings. I wish you. You can call me Brito. I'm a traveling tinker. What is a pannier? A pannier, wooden frame with all the pouches on my back. That's a peddler's pannier. Is it pannier, pannier? Who knows? With my pannier, I can travel to places that a wagon can't reach. Not unlike like a fanny pack. <laughs> I'm all ears. Oh, I got another long story. About panniers, I guess, this time. Let's skip through that. It's the way to groin hag, ask the huckster. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games with a lot of relaxing moments. You know, just kick back and read this long story if you want. Or just click through it. Huckster, you tried to send me the wrong way. It goes on? <laughs> okay, when I said this wasn't the way to grow in hag, I meant that wasn't, this wasn't your way to grow in hag. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A splendid story, Brido. Yes, okay, blah, 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 blisters, just one berries, you say. Oh, okay. I guess he wants some one berries. I gave him one. But gave him one one berry, but apparently that was not enough. Ah, there we go. Arrows. It's a whole ducat? Jesus. I'm going to go broke with this. <laughs> Better not. Maybe just start off with like 40, I guess. Wow, that's expensive. You know, I wish I knew if I could just sell these lucky charms. You know, I wish I knew if I could just sell these lucky charms. That bear trap is worth a whole ducat. Yeah, just I'll hold on to this a little bit longer because I don't know if I'm going to get another character soon. Although having some more money at this point would be quite nice. Oh, there's some more. One, he wants ten of those, I think. 
Oh, get the... There we go. Oh, there's some more arrows. <laughs> well, they're worth their weight in gold or tailors or ducats or whatever the heck it is. All right, she's got 60 arrows now. That should be enough to last a little while, huh? Bristly pelt of a wild boar. God, I wish I knew if I needed that. Do you need that to make leather armor at some point? If I was designing a game, that's what I would use it for. Where was that guy that had the recipes for the teas and stuff? How many of these one? I got three one berries. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while. Now let's see if I explored everything. Why can't I talk to her? Listen up, everyone. That's weird. Let me do that. Hope that's not a glitch. All right, wood chopper guy. Doesn't look like there's anything else there to. Maybe some. I came from that way, right? All right, I'm gonna have to check my journal again and see what we're supposed to be doing. I know there was like a guy that had some recipes for sale. What happened to him? Just make sure it's not this guy. I'm just not losing my mind. Welcome to the jagged blade, the best. Ta no, he just sells the items. Okay. Sure, none of these guys are the merchant. Nothing. And? No. No. And no. And the plot thickens. Oh, what the hell, I'm out here already. Might as well fully explore this little nook. You know, I want to try to see if I can pick up a plant, too. Alright, here's this one berry bush. Let's try it. So I know he can't do it. But she can. Look at that. There we go. Get that one berry. Failure? What? Failure? Oh. That stinks. I guess I don't get on I guess you only get one crack at it. I see another one over here though. This is a horror weed. Is that a failure too? Failed. Difficulty increased by two. So I'm gonna have to pump that way up, I guess, to get any kind of results. Okay, anyway, I think I've explored that area pretty well. We need to get up here to this hunter. Alright, but once again, it is lunchtime, so I'm gonna pause here, and hopefully this time I won't get derailed. We can finish <laughs> up, up this adventure today. So hopefully I will be right back. Not that it would matter to you, because I will, of course, edit that out. Alright, back to business. Listen up, everyone. Got me a nice bit of Earl Grey tea here. I actually found that if you get the oil of bergamot, bergamo, however the hell you say that, you can get it in like a essential oil format, basically. <laughs> Drop a few drops into regular black tea pretty good because you can adjust the you know just how Picard like you want your tea let me do that okay anyway let's get back oh what in the world <laughs> you gotta keep them separated I guess 
All right, what was I doing? Uh, need to look at the journal. Okay, here's our big test. We still need to get Selena's. We still got to get Selena's uh, tester letter. And that means finding her lover. Something about the robber's hideout. Weren't we there? Maybe we haven't been there yet. Okay, we slayed the bear. Should go to Alstone and Hunter and tell him about our success. Still got to get that chest open. So I think the next order of business, find Hunter Alstone. What do you think? Should we find Hunter Alstone? A.K.A. the green question mark. Yeah, but I was asking on Twitter the other day, because you know, one of the reviews of this game said it was the best German game of all time. I thought, well, that's probably a bit... You know, we'll see. You know, maybe I might, I might come around to that way of thinking. We'll, we'll see how it goes here. Uh, but anyway, I posed the question on Twitter. I was just curious what other people thought. You know, what do they think is the best German CRPG of all time? And, of course, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, there's the Amber Moon series. A lot of people talked about Realms. A lot of people, uh, quite a few acti actually talked about Sacred. Oh, God, what else was on there? Uh, up, Legend everyone. of Fairgill? Fairgill? However you say that, it's like, not Fargoal. It's like Fairgill. <laughs> uh, a couple people mentioned that. Um, yeah, what else? But, you know, the a lot of folks talked about... Uh, Oh, uh, oh, come on. Um, Darklands! There we go. <laughs> so we were talking about, even though, you know, of course, that's uh, Hendrix, who actually interviewed him on the show. Uh, he's not German. You know, there was a German version of it, apparently. Somebody pointed that out on, uh, on, on Twitter as well. So we don't know if we should count that or not. I, I say go for it, you know. It's kind of, it's definitely Germanic. Maybe if it, even if it's not made by German developers. but Still, it's of course a classic. But you know, the Gothic series, I mean, it just goes, I'm sure there's a whole bunch that I'm not thinking of just off the top of my head. There was a, several of them for the Amiga platform. For the Amiga computer. And I'm pretty sure there must have been at least some that were never translated even. But I'm kind of curious about this uh, dark guy. You know, I wonder how many, uh, you know, if there's a bunch of uh, German RPGs that were made using uh, this system that I haven't ever played. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun to check out. If those haven't been, if, if they exist and they haven't been translated, I mean, that'd be a great opportunity. Okay, let's get back on task. How do I get over there? It must be a... Oh, man, I'm going... I gotta get over the bridge. Duh. You know, every time I see a well in the CRPG. I feel like I should be able to go down inside the well. You know, maybe there's a member pool of radiance, that whole pirate base, uh, or thug base, I guess, underneath the well. It's like Kodo's well, or Kato's well. I just love that. You know, I'll never forget that. You know how certain memories just stick in your, stick in your mind forever, you know, but we were playing pool of radiance and just Brutal battle in that well. Really tough. And I mean, I was like 15, probably, actually, it's probably more like 13 or 14. I don't know. <laughs> but I just remember it because I finally got to that last battle and it said, oh, now you get Dakota as well as your headquarters. You know, this is your base. I was like, whoa, that's so awesome. And like at, this, at that moment, my, my mom was like, no, you, you got to turn it off now. You got to go to church now. 
<laughs> so I didn't get to see like I had to just stop it right at right at that split second. I couldn't even see what was uh, what was going to happen. I had to sit there. And, Here we go. You know, church is like a two-hour-long thing. Just the whole time. I'm not thinking about God. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about Kodo Swell. <laughs> I can't wait to get back home and you know see what see what's in that well. Oh my God. I mean, as soon as we got back home, I just made a beeline for the old Commodore 64. Got back in there. So, I mean, that was... You know, I guess you could say it's kind of a good thing, because it did make me, uh... Something like that does help it stick in your memory more. A little delayed gratification. Alright, she looks like she's doing a lot better with this herbalism now. Oh, she failed that one. Now, what is this tap business? I'd do anything to know what that tap business is. T-A-P. You know what? Heck, hold on. I'll, figure, I'll find out. Okay, so I looked it up. So this is talent points. So when you're successful, she gets a talent point. Is that how that works? Let me just make... S no, she doesn't have any... She gets some talent points for that. What the? What am I looking? Okay. Difficulty increased by four. Successful. Three. Tap. That's talent points, right? She's. This is plant lore. She's got seven. I don't see the seven. Plant lore seven. Difficulty increased by two. Seal nine. I guess this is Cleverness 9, Intuition 6, Dexterity 14, Successful, 1 TAP asterisk. Alright, so here's the explanation I found on a forum. <laughs> okay, the int D dex are check versus your stats if they are all lower goody. If they are higher and you have tap points, It'll use up your tap points to bring the rolls down to equal to your stats. If the difficulty modifier is less than or equal to your talent, it will reduce your available tap points. If the difficulty modifier is greater than your talent points, it will boost all the rolls by however much the difference is. Say difficulty is 15, you'll have 10 skill points. Your stats have to be 5 points higher than every single roll. Okay, let me see if I got this straight. That way. So we've got seven talent points, right? Plant Lord. So the difficulty is increased by two, so that brings the talent points down to five. Got these rolls. I guess these are checks on each one of these. So you need cleverness, intuition, and dexterity. And then it used one talent point, two talent points, one talent point, three. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get this. So the main, I guess it checks for these uh, attributes first, and then the, the talent points for the skill is kind of a fudge, fudge factor. So that's this cleverness of five. Why is this random, though? I guess it's just what you're rolling. Yeah, this is, I'm still kind of confused by this. Her cleverness is ten. I guess that's kind of low. So I guess this is like this like rolled. So her cleverness was ten, so she passed that one. Her int says uh, intuition six. Her intuition is twelve, so she passed that check. De of fourteen. She missed that one by. She's only got ten. This is fourteen. So it used up a talent point. And the difficulty was up by two. You know, I just, I think I almost thought I had it there for a second. Okay, DE 14. Her DE is 10, so I assume she missed that one. 7, 6, 5. So she would have 5 points left. 10 versus 14. You can do it, Matt. Come on. <laughs> 3. <laughs> okay, so I think what happened here was since that Dex check there it was a 14 and she's only got 10 it used up the rest of my talent points basically and I think that probably means one 
Left over? It will reduce your available tap points. Man, I thought I had it. We're just gonna go with this. <laughs> I guess I don't have to understand it 100%. It seems pretty clear though that the idea is that you, uh, For Amazon Prime. if you don't make your check, and the, the skill will uh, basically compensate for those low, lower rolls if you have enough. So it's not actually giving me talent points every time I'm successful. Yeah, so you can see those are pretty high numbers there. It's probably why she failed. What do we have here? One berry. So these are... I'm not sure if the difficulty's random too. Yeah, I guess it's random difficulty level too, so it must be a di another die that's being rolled. So that time she succeeded. It says zero tap. So I guess is this this is what I'm trying to figure out. Does that mean I didn't use any talent points or I used them all and I got none left? Hang on, I'm gonna just work this out. Okay, so I actually took out some scratch paper, worked all this out. <laughs> okay, so here's what I think is going on. I don't know if these difficulty rolls are like every one berry bush is, say, a difficulty level of three. We'll test that next time we find a, a one berry bush. But yeah, so what happened is she rolled, a, I guess, a 14 for cleverness. She had a 10. Her cleverness is a 10, so there's a four point discrepancy there. She passed the rest of them. Now it says the difficulty is three, so we knock three off seven, seven, six, five, and get four points, which is what exactly what she had there. So she used them all up. And I guess zero tap. <laughs> At least that's the way I'm interpreting that. We can confirm it with another uh, when we find another we uh, one berry bush. Don't you just love this kind of stuff? <laughs> I guess it's somewhere deep down. I'm like a math nerd. Oh, here's another one berry bush. Okay, let's try it out. The message is back. So let's see if it's the same as the other one. This will be a difficulty level of three. See what happens. Yep. Difficulty level of three. She rolled a 18, so there was a four points there. Discrepancy at 16. Uh, her <laughs> her intuition's only six, so there were six points there. And then the uh, what was the last one? Dexterity was a seven. Yeah, she's got a very low. Oh, she beat that one. Okay, yeah, so she beat that last one, but she was a six. Seven, eight, nine, ten points away from uh, being successful. The difficulty was three. She only had four talent points left, so that failed. Okay, I'm relatively confident that I understand the math of this now. You know, it seemed like it would be kind of tedious, though, to have to sit there. To, I mean, you actually have to roll three times for every time she does that check, or is this uh, you roll one dice? You roll one die, and these are... Is this factoring in her... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, by God. We're gonna look at the Dark Eye Wiki, I guess. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Okay. You always roll one or more d20s for checks. Check. A check succeeds on any result less than or equal to the associated score. Okay. A higher result, a higher result fails. Check. Attributes. Oh, they got one called saga sagacity. I forget what was the, they called this something else in our game. Cleverness. I guess this must be cleverness. Different word for cleverness. Okay, the eight attributes. Blah blah blah. Attribute checks. You roll attribute checks on one d twenty. The score being tested is a specific attribute. A GM can call for a check on sagacity. 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 See if a hero remembers a past event or courage. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, circumstances. Can make things more difficult. Alright, skills. 
This is the relevant bit, I think. A skill check consists of three linked attribute checks. All of the above rules for checks apply, but there are additions. So a skill check is just what we're doing here, testing the plant lore. So it's got a, yeah, three checks. Does that mean they roll three die? The hero must make a check against each of these attributes. The player can roll these checks in any order, or can make all three checks at once using 3d20, but each die must be clearly assigned to one of the three attributes. Okay, so yeah, they are literally rolling every time. If you were doing the tabletop version, <laughs> I guess you could have different color d20s that you're using. Wow, this is, this is complex. Each part of a skill check is an attribute check. If you hit below one, it's impossible. Uh, the skill points. Duh. Okay, if the second EAV in a skill check is 12 and the player rolls a 14, the player can spend two SP skill points to reduce the roll to a 12, making it a success. Okay, I mean, it makes sense to me now. You know, it would be very complicated, I think, in a tabletop game, but obviously this is a computer game, so it's just transparent. But, you know, it's the kind of more I think about it, this is actually makes a lot of sense that you would, uh... You know, like in, uh... D&D, &D, you might just check one stat, you know, do a dex check, and a lot of times you're arguing with the DM about, well, that seems more like a... You know, a, that should be a performance check versus an acrobatics check, or, you know, whatever the case may be. That sounds more like agility than strength, you know, you get the, the idea. Uh, but this system, I guess, is flexible enough to let you bring in... Like, well, it's sort of this, it's sort of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can sort of have this th uh, three different stats involved, and I guess set the difficulty. You know, it does make you think, though, that you can't just really just have one stat. You really have to think about uh, making sure those other stats are at least not really low. Let's see if our... see how this works out. So she should not... Be quiet, Adobe. Let's try it again, see what happens. She failed again, so you see some of these rolls. Like, that 18 is really killing me for dexterity, because her dex is only 10. That way. Interesting. It almost makes you feel like a scientist. You know, trying to, like, reverse engineer these things. Where is the plant? It indicates there's a plant around here somewhere. There we go. So this whirlwind. Oh man. Failure, 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 failure. Got it. Got the gold moon. You know, I'm also curious if these plants ever come back. Or is it... Again, you get one shot at it and that's it. Uh, we got some wild boars over there, but to save it... Let me do that. Oh, go back to him. Get that wild boar. Ah, oh, damn, these wounds. I gotta figure out what step controls that wound business and pump, <laughs> pump the crap out of that, whatever it is. I think it was willpower, wasn't it? You know, some people don't like it. You know, they just want to use the same system for every game. You know, I don't mind learning a, a new thing. It's kind of fun, actually. Uh-oh. There is another one of your special powers. Aim shot, I think it's called. Yeah, and I guess every battle gives you experience points. Listen up, everyone. And you can can you apply those instantly? Experience points ten. Yeah, so I mean every little thing you're, you're constantly getting these experience points you could use. Uh, willpowers. Now what makes it maxed out? I wonder. Is that something you have to be a certain level? 
Is it max out per level? It's probably what, it's my guess. Okay, and that's the one for wounds. Yeah, so, okay, I got that maxed out, I guess. Uh, what else might be useful? It's got axes maxed out. Kind of curious what that means, 100. ED cost 14 EP. So it costs 14. Oh, you have to have 100 leveling points. Oh, okay. So I guess when you level up is when you work on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, so I was saving some points on this guy. Okay, let's see if she can. Uh, me. Here we go. She ought to be able to skin this thing, right? Sinews. Well, that was nice of the board to wrap his sinews in those little spools. We'll do. Failure. Constant failure. So hard to pick a plant. <laughs> okay, about enough of that. Let's see if she can get that wound off my dude. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And she did. She's getting good. I'll tell you, this Amazon, I love this Amazon, Rulana. <laughs> Working out so well. You just you love it when you find a really good henchman. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna try to resist the urge to pick all these pick all these uh, plants. Try to get to this. Pick all these pick all these uh, plants. Where am I going? This is... Okay, I've been there already. I wonder if I can kill that deer just for the meat. <laughs> kill everything! Ah! Uh-oh. Ah, more of these damn boars. Oh. Didn't I pick up a wet... Yeah, what's this whetstone do? Uh, it gives me a little bonus. Okay, yeah, use the... <laughs> I need every little bonus I can get. <laughs> now go ahead and drink some ale, too. Charge into battle before the beer wears off. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's going for my Amazon. Now it's coming back here. Which makes me wonder, does, it, does this game have a threat mechanic? Surely it does, right? Alright. Man, this lovely axe. It's got a spiky spike on top and double bladed. Probably end up doing more damage to myself with it <laughs> in real life. Oh, and I'm wounded again. Holy cow. That's annoying. I'm not crazy about this wound mechanic, I can tell you that. Does that last forever? I guess this is because of the wounds. Yeah, wounded. Uh, does it say somewhere here about how long that lasts? Man, well, she's already down to 35 arrows. For Amazon Pride. I'm either gonna have to learn how to make bandages or Try to find some other way to heal, because this is getting out of control. Hmm. 
Pretty sure those wounds never just automatically go away. Failed! Failed! Come on! Well, what the hell. Done. Give me a win. <laughs> Come on. Got him. Oh, and I got I got enough for my quest now. Need one of ten of those little dingleberries. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, I got some experience points for something. I guess for completing the step of the quest, maybe? Okay, I see our... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's in battle. Okay. He's fighting a wolf. I guess they were missing each other every strike for hours until we showed up. You know, at least the bad guys can get wounded, too. Can I help you? I've slain the bear. <laughs> Did he even ask us about a bear? Oh. Wonderful, but you can keep the head. I don't have any use for it. You know, at least you don't have to like talk to him, find out you got to kill the bear, go back and kill the bear again. <laughs> it's in World of War crack. Don't have any use for it. Here, take these 25 silver. Excellent. I needed that money. What am I going to do with a bear head? Now, if it's a boar head, then we could make some sliced lunch meat with it. I just wanted to see some proof that you had really killed that beast. <laughs> what should I do with the head? Call in St. Clown Posse. Uh, Thalia and the innkeeper recently mentioned to me that he would like to have a new trophy for his inn. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, can you teach me anything about hunting? Bowyer, 10 ducats, survival, what is survival? Uh, they can get their bearings in the wilderness. Uh, they could find rare plants and useful animals. I'm, I think she's already got it, right? Okay, yeah, she's got... She's got survival, animal lore, spears, of course she's an Amazonian. Aim shot, okay. Now he doesn't really need aim shot. I don't really need spears, traps. Now is this disarming traps or is this just setting traps? These detections of these traps is uh, blah, blah, blah. traps can be made. So I could learn how to make traps or how to set traps, I guess. I do have some traps here. I got a bear trap. Now does it use up the trap? <laughs> Probably not worth messing around with this too much. I'm mildly curious. But I think I'd rather use my money and skill points I on something else. To you forever. How can I help you? Does he have anything else useful? You know the bowyer would sure be nice. I think that's what lets you make arrows, right? Yeah. No. Well, they make missile weapons. And the associated projectiles. So if I, if I had this, I could make my own arrows. That would be <laughs> very awesome. Listen up, everyone. Let's go ahead and have her get this. I still don't know at this moment if I need to keep the pelts and stuff. I guess I could always I get more. to you forever. A pack of wolves, led by a snow-white female, has been rotting about the countryside with seven dwarves. Uh, 
The pack has avoided all of my traps and there are too many for me to hunt. You could help me by killing their leader and bringing me her pelt. Love a good old kill quest. I am indebted to... All right, let's see. What does he have for sale? We can get some more arrows. She, uh, yeah. You know, against my better judgment, I think I'm gonna. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Some recipes. Instructions for hunting arrows. Ingredients needed: elm wood, wood glue, arrowheads, goose feathers. Uh, it's probably worth having, I guess. I'm gonna need to get the, uh... I guess you have to buy some of these materials, or mats, as we would say. Maybe that's something you can do with alchemy, is make those items. Oh, a hunter's cap. Armor values, head one. I think I'm just going to buy some arrows from my Amazon. Not that many. <laughs> yeah, I go for a full 50. Okay, just hold one second here. Well, I kind of scanned a few wikis, discussion boards, and I still... not really sure if I need those things or not. But you know what I'm going to do is just, you know, somehow you make leather strips, I bet. I bet you have like a leather skill or leather recipe you get somewhere. But I'm just going to sell the things. <laughs> or am I? Aye! Tough call. Well, I can definitely sell these things. Let's see, I'll go ahead and sell this broadsword. You know, I really do wish that they would at least tell you, like, what's, what's junk. Otherwise, you just end up carrying all this stuff around with you. Good choice. Okay, how do you use that? Alright, so she's got a recipe now. That needs alchemy, blacksmith, bowyer. So she will have to have this bowyer skill, I think, to be able to use these recipes. Okay. <clears throat> I need some bandages. Does he have bandages? Does not. So I really need to keep an eye out for uh, some kind of bandage recipe. Man, finding that ale. <laughs> okay, so I got, you know, I was supposed to go talk to him, right? Is that... What does this mean? Oh, this must be like new quests. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um. Did I not help her? Hmm. Well, moving on right along then, I guess. So, what am I doing now? What the hell? Oh, that was weird. So I can go get white fur, or I can go to Bald Mount. So we'll head on towards white fur. Oh, white fur. Don't like going there damaged with a wound, but hopefully we'll survive. Oh, here comes the wolves. Hungry like the wolf. Yeah, really good looking monsters. I like this level of realism. I never really liked those real cartoony CRPGs as much. Hmm. Get him! 
guess I can use my abilities. You know, it is kind of annoying I've yet to like click on her, use her ability, click back on him. That's probably not gonna get any better with more people. Ooh, I got a wolf's paw. Step by step. You know, at some point I'll probably try to see if I can find a Done. some kind of guide that'll identify what I can sell. So otherwise, I'm just gonna get inundated with items. You know, my, what I'm wary of doing is selling a bunch of materials and ingredients and end up needing it badly later. Oh my god, you sold those pelts, didn't you? No, you should be holding on to them for dear life. Alright. Yeah, I wish I could adjust this too. This is kind of annoying. I can't like shrink that. Get some more wolf spawns. I'll take care of that. Get you over here to see if she can get some. This is kind of a slow process here too. This could be. They could have sped this up. Good choice. Got it. You know, you watch the animation once, and then after that, it should just be. Click it. Clickety clickety click. I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. Okay, on to Oh, more wolves. These wolves are a lot easier to kill than those wild boars. at him. Wolves are intelligent animals that live in structured packs and hunt in coordinated groups. They usually only attack humans if they are hungry. Oh, it's just a hungry wolf. I almost feel bad for killing these guys. Here's what I'm wondering. Can I, like, do queue up some actions? Let's see. Should do it should you do both of them? Awesome! Okay, so you can queue up uh, as many actions as you want, I guess. Just click them. I held the shift key down, told her to skin both of them. Boom, boom, boom. That's good. Okay, it says white fur is up here somewhere. It's probably going to be a pretty tough battle. Oh, I got a cutscene. Good looking wolf. Ooh. Bad looking wolf. Oh, bad look. Oh my god. How many wolves? Okay, I'm gonna put you I'll over there. Let's have you work on that one too. Back to you. Let's go. There's white. White fur. Doing okay so far. That one down, good. Pause it. Let's go for the weak link. Let's see if we can wipe these guys out real quick. Uh-oh. Some damage that time. Alright, now we can focus on her. Ooh, yikes! Can't take another hit like that. Oh, and I'm missing every time. Oh, come on, don't miss! It's not giving me the rolls here. PA2, whatever that is. Alright, turn that off. Whoa. Did she heal up? Oh man, do I have any kind of way to heal myself here? Uh, oh jeez, this is not good. Mm -mm. He might get knocked out. He's down. 
Okay, better switch her to the uh, cleaver. Come on now. That did some damage. One more of those. Come on. Got it! Now what about him? Is he critical wound? Good choice. Well, that doesn't sound good now, does it? Does she get any items? Oh, poor, poor Halar. He's like head down. Poor guy. I guess they really don't like it if you get knocked out. Got it. I hope these things are worth something at least. That must have been a fail. Okay, but anyway, let's go turn that in. Maybe we'll... Maybe it's one of those games where when you level up... It gets rid of all Stay the negative effects. <laughs> I kind of doubt it, but Here we go. I can dream. Otherwise, we're gonna—I guess I have to go back to that priest in town. I hope there's not some way to camp or rest, and I'm just totally missing here. Keep going. Don't step. <laughs> what the hell? I am indebted to there you. There we go. There's your pelt. Twenty seven dollars. Switch and offer. Wolf's paw. A simple wolf's paw. You know what? I don't know what this stuff does. I'm just gonna start selling stuff. Sell the rat tails. Robber's emblems. God, I hope I don't end up needing those. So the bear trap, new snare, bear's teeth, <laughs> rusty nails, uh, nuts. I don't think it gets rid of these items, right? He'll keep them. So if I need, desperately need to, maybe I can come back and buy them back. That's confirmed in theory. Some nuts. So I could maybe come back and buy those nuts again if I had to have them back. And I should have some... Uh, I'm still level one. <laughs> My goodness. Second level. Oh, I'm very close though. Very close. Okay, well, what else can I... Can raise his cleverness. Let's do that, maybe. <laughs> uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt her to have a little... Well, let's do some more animal. Some more survival. Let's go ahead and pump these up. Um, sneak? Does she need to know how to sneak? A sneaking party is only as proficient as a group member with the lowest talent, prowess, and value. Yeah, I never really like sneaking around. I think I'll just s skip that for now. Okay. How much money do I have now? Nine ducats. Have to go back to town, unfortunately. Da, 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 da. Oh, I guess I should just buy a bunch of bandages. I guess I should just buy a bunch of bandages. 
Back to Smurf Village. What? Haves be with you. Haves be with you. But the Aves and the Aves nuts in this world, I guess. Hello. I think he's moving slower since he's critically wounded. Okay. Got a little bit of money now. A little bit of know-how. Maybe when I turn this quest in here, we'll get enough XP to level us up. Welcome to the Jagged Blade. This is trophy. Gold Moon Tea. That treats poison, I guess. Still don't see. Welcome to the Jagged Blade, the best tavern. How did you become an innkeeper? Okay, now, where was the... The guy, that traveling merchant. Wood shopper. Want some wood? wood? Show me what you can offer. We probably need to, that wood to make arrows with, is my guess. You know, I still feel like I'm missing something in this town. Must be a person or something I haven't talked to. Somebody's got to at least have like bandage recipes. And, and I keep ending up in the same stupid barn. Might as well become a pig. Granny Goodby. Why can't I talk to her? She mad at me? You know, with my luck, she's the one that sells all the nice recipes and I've somehow made her mad. Alright, here's this guy. Greetings. I wish you a pleasant day. Found the one berries. Two ducats. Greetings. I've got some items, but I really don't want to buy anything but uh Bandage oh there's this bandages, okay. Maybe not that many. Let's get oh, 20. Okay. Hairpins. Let me do that. However, I don't know if those are going to work on critical wounds. For Amazon step. I feel like I need to talk to like a priest. What? Who's the... Let's go. A few more questions. Tell me about the stranger. There's got to be somebody here that can sell some healing. You should come with here us. Here we go. I'm sure the good knight Traldar could... Oh, he sells skills. All right, swords. I could learn swords. Faint. You know, 100 leveling points for that. I still don't quite have their skill system figured out. So I guess you could buy the skill if you don't have it. choice. Do you need a certain amount of leveling points? Stay behind me. Okay, I see some more stuff down here. I'm gonna... I guess as I missed something useful back here. Yeah, laboratory. Here we go. Here we go. This is probably what I was missing. Oh yeah, a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, here's this mounty bank again. 
What is it then? Just, 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 just. Let's see. Mounted bank. Okay, then we got this alchemist. What do you? What can you teach me? Alchemy. Yes, I need alchemy. Plant Lord got it. Balm of Healing. Listen up, everyone. Why can't I get this? Let me learn it. Oh, it's a spell. Oh, it's a spell. Okay. What about alchemy? I should I give this to her or to my guy? She's already dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of things. Maybe I'll let him learn alchemy. Okay. Now let's see how that works. Pump some points into it. Where to go? Alchemy, alchemy, alchemy. Well, let's go ahead and level that up a little bit. Yes. Now he can make this. Somehow. <laughs> How do you make it? Oh my. Yes, make it. No. Oh, guessing this must be what. Oh, laboratory. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Create. Yes, yes, yes. One times five gold moon tea successfully crafted. Excellent. Now yeah, we're talking. Let's see what she's got for sale. Mandrake powder, wound powder. What is this? Oh, uh, that heals the wound overnight. Okay, maybe I need that. Salve of healing. Treat wounds plus four. Okay, that would probably be good. I've got a recipe for wound powder. Let's go ahead and buy that. Courage Elixir, I don't know. One berry juice. Oh, what the hell. You just get them all. Weapon ball. Now what about this critical wound? Is that... Something I can use a salve of healing on, maybe? Well, let's just take it one step at a time. Use these. Excellent. Okay. Wound powder. We need. Don't have any of the mats we need for that, I guess. Oh, those one berries. Yeah, one berries are going to be critical, aren't they? I literally can't make anything. Okay, well, let's see if she can heal. Let's try the. Uh, Let's try this. The salve of healing is the most expensive thing, so let's try one of those. Let's see if that gets rid of it. Now how does this work? TA treat wounds plus four. Talent use treat wounds. So let's let her put it on. <laughs> Rub some salve on me. Failed. Well, I got rid of the critical wound, though. I wouldn't call that a failure. And he's back to full snuff. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Stupid rusty nails. Traveler, 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 nothing. The wagoner. And you got anything? Nope. Mr. Kadelwick. So let's keep on going down south. 
These are the guys that won't let me pass, right? Sorry. But That's a good question. Don't care. They won't let me cross this bridge, right? I guess they will. Okay. <laughs> well, there's nothing down there, I don't think. I still don't have a rogue in my party. No way to pick locks. Listen up, everyone. Does she have any additional points? I forgot to look. Things maxed out. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna need tons of one berries. And I'm glad you get more than just one one berry. You know what I mean. Failure. Man, you must really have to have that jacked up eye. Man, it's just barely worth even trying. Let's go for this one over here. Failure! That's okay. Good choice. Let's get. We need to get back well, on. Amazon back gone. on task here. Man, I got enough of that pale ale to open up a damn pub. Just out of curiosity, do I have enough? I did pick up some gold and or some. Uh, one berry. Oh, I guess you have to have it in your inventory. Oh, that stinks. So that to constant would be like shifting these mats over to him. Walmart leaf. I don't think I have a sort option either. Okay. So we could make some of this gold moon tea. What does this do? Immunity to unconsciousness, duration 10. That's a pretty good uh, recipe, probably. Mandrake powder. So I could make... I could make some of this if I get some mandrake powder. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mandrake powder. Uh, how much do we need? Just get 10, I guess. Okay, let's try to make that... Let's go ahead and make two of those. Okay, now we're talking. VP regeneration for 10 minutes. Excellent. 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 Okay, I feel a lot better now. Let me do that. You know, I feel like I'm gradually learning the system. <clears throat> Alright, let me start another file here. All right, so let's get back on task. I want to get to Bold Mountain. Boldy Mountain. Man, what a great game. You know, again, I, it just came out of the bad times, my theory. Kind of a bleh time for PC gaming. You know, Fallout 3, I was thinking that came out. A little bit before this. Was that like 2003, I think? So you might very well have been playing this and no telling what else. And this game just did not get the attention it deserved. In my opinion, anyway. Then I got shuffled in, lost in the sh shuffle, and went pretty much straight to bargain bin. 
At least in my experience, I don't think I ever saw this. First time I ever heard of this game, actually, was in a bargain bin. I only got it for like 20 bucks. It's crazy. Oh, this guy gets wounded. He must have, like, brittle bone. <laughs> Man, I even pumped up his uh, score and he's still just constantly up, getting wounded. I need to get her, uh... No, she did it right that time. She's been having a real time, hard time picking up herbs and stuff. I'm trying to figure out about how long of a video I want to make for this, because take, take the truth, I'm having such a good time. I don't want to stop. But, you know, I can't make an infinitely long video, so I might say uh, after we do this bald mountain thing. Hopefully I'll be level two, and that should be a pretty good stopping point, I think. Oh, it looks like a pretty big battle coming up here. Firefly. Oh, Firefly. Firefly egg. Wow, there's a dead guy up there. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was... That's a lot of... Ex a lot of fireflies, but I guess a lot of XP too, so we'll take it. Come on, come on. Get you. Might as well keep using our special ability, right? Bada boom, bada bing, bing, bing. Ooh, a letter to a treasure hunt key. What, 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 whoa, whoa, what is all this? It is a quest item. Remember, you can't just look at a letter, you got to read a letter. Let's see, my trusted old friend, follow the instructions on this parchment and you will find the promised reward for your faithful service. First, go to Avistru, a small village before Furdok. Find a shrine there. From there, your path will take you across the bridge until you get to a lake. Once you reach the water, make your way along the foot of the bald mountain, always going toward the mighty waterfall. Behind abundant greenery, you will find that which fits the key I gave you. <laughs> okay. That sounds... Oh, got a poison fang. Let's see, can she do anything with these? Can't skin a dragonfly, I guess. That's too bad. Might as well tear down all these. <laughs> Oh, that lovely XP. One. Oh, man, I forgot. I was going to get her a shield. You know, I don't know about later on in the game, but, you know, I haven't really found many items. This might be a game where you really do need to use the vendors more. You know, some of these games are just really never a compelling reason to buy stuff. You just find everything you need on courses. This might be the exception. Oh, I'd love to give her something better than that meat cleaver, too. It's basically a kitchen implement, right? Okay, I think we got all those searched. Maybe one more dragonfly over here. Two arms! I don't remember if I've got a quest for these things. Don't think so. One more egg sack. You ever get stung by bees or wasps? Or fireflies? The fireflies, uh. I don't think they bite, do they? They sting. I know kids like to put them in mason jars. I've never heard of being stung to death by a firefly, but come to think of it, they look a lot more like dragonflies. I don't think this game has a day night cycle. It's kind of an odd choice, really, for a. Could have made them wasps or. Killer bees, I guess. Alright, we got them all. 
What if I can fish? Damn, look at all. There's way more of these. Oh, we're just getting started. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I really want to kill all these fireflies. Pretty much grinding, I guess, at this point. Unless those poison stings are useful for something. Yeah, I don't think I want to stick around and kill all this. Poison Fang. Well, it says it's a useful uh, alchemical ingredient. Maybe there's like a poison blade recipe at some point. Go ahead and pick these up. I think we're going to mosey on along. So I'm looking for a lake and a waterfall, apparently. Alright. There's another wild boar. Oh, here we go. Just kill him before he wounds somebody. Get him! I just noticed that my character has tats. Come on, can we kill him before he wounds us? <laughs> oh, thank you. Some of those pelt scraps. Let me do that. Done. Do, 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 do. I'm not really sure how big this game is, just from my previous memory. It's pretty, it's long enough that you might not finish it. So it's, I guess it's fairly lengthy. Keep on going. I've had a lot of arguments with people about the proper length of an RPG. You know, do you really need it to be 60 hours long? Hundreds of hours, or <laughs> you know, take months to complete. I think I would rather have a shorter game that was really well balanced and developed than something that was just really long but uh, got repetitive or monotonous. I don't necessarily equate time spent playing with uh, value. I like fighting these boars, but I'm just always worried that they're gonna wound me. <laughs> Why am I? These things are hard to hit, I guess. 8 HP, 6 DP. I wonder what that is. Hit points and hit percentage, maybe? And damage percentage? You know, I must be getting close to the next. To leveling up. I have, I completely forgot how that process works, so I'm really curious. Do I need to go to a trainer? I'll help. Oops. Let's see how close she is. Oh, she is level two. Oh, okay, I don't remember seeing a message about leveling up. Uh, how many... She's got 898 experience po adventure points. You need uh, leveling points. Wait, maybe she was already level 2 when I got her? Yeah, must, must be it. Surely they make a bigger deal about leveling. Nice sound effect. Alright. So, looks like I need to go pretty much northeast. I see something up there. 
Oh, there's some robbers up there. Okay, I save it. <laughs> yeah, who does have to carry the chest? Fun. Fighting a Robin Hood and Friar Tuck here. Get him. One down. Now these guys should have some loots. I'd love to have his axe. Looks like he's got a big old axe. Oh, there we go. Level two. Yeah, so you get sparklies. Oh, no decent gear, though. I see a chest over there, though. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see what's in this chest. A snuff box. You know, I've never done that. Snuff. Have you ever... We've oh, got a hip flask. That'll be useful. Oh, a couple of good items. Okay, let's just... Uh... You know, I can see an axe on the ground, people. <laughs> Okay, so that's the scratch. I guess that's the same thing as I got already. We got a cutlass here, which is a type of saber, so that might be an upgrade for uh, my Amazon. This hatchet, yeah, that's not going to be better than my scratch. No shocker there. Got some more weapon balm. Okay, the cutlass is 1d plus 3, the cleaver is 1d2, so it seems like this cutlass is a pretty obvious improve improvement. Excellent. And then we can probably level up a little bit here. You know, I just don't know what it means by leveling points. Leveling points, 200. What's a leveling point? Surely that doesn't mean I need to be level 200. How do I get leveling points? Oh wait, maybe I'm missing something here. I notice it's got my... It puts talents down here for some reason. Let's see, axes and maces. Mighty blow, okay. What am I missing here? Axes. I don't know if there's a way to... I'm just totally in the dark about how to get this ability. I'm just going to assume when I've got enough of whatever kind of points I need, it will notify me. But I can level up my axes. One more point there. That's good, I suppose. Oh, don't cancel. Oh, yeah, I'm just not noticing this is like two buttons. Cancel, accept changes. <laughs> okay, let's see. I guess that's about all I can do is that one thing. I can raise my alchemy one point. Okay, good, good, good. For Amazon Prime. Let's see, does she have any points? Um, I don't know if she's got that maxed out already. I think that's about all we can use her for at the moment. Okay, but we got some, got her a better, uh, better, uh, cutlass. Better saber, that's exciting. So is this bald mountain? See, it says that's Bald Mountain. It said something about a lake and a waterfall. I mean, that's a stream. It looks like that might be a waterfall over there. Let's just go on north, though. Something's happening. Ooh, music got all ominous. Wow. 
Who is this guy? I got you the diadem. Now give me your word of honor that you won't do anything to Selina. The diadem. Good. Very good. You think he's a bad guy? Thanks must indeed favor your lover. She is of no further interest to me now that I have the diadem. I've had that kind of dry skin as well. Such a shame that your god is not here to protect you. By the wax of my mustache! You ever do a handlebar mustache? A little mustache wax and a little mustache combs. A lot of fun. I used to have one, but it's kind of a pain to maintain. It looks like crap if you don't, you know, put the wax on it. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Uh, I think we just uh, go ahead and charge in. Listen up, everyone. <laughs> charge! I don't want to see that cutlass in action. Die! Die! Scum! He's still hanging on. Let me get over there. Yep. Help Draenor. So I guess Draenor is going to be our rogue. How much you want to bet? You know, I honestly don't remember. It's been that long. Come on, get him. Get him! Looks like he's a straight out of the Princess Bride. Come on. That was close. They almost sent me to Borak. You must be Draenor. It's me. Allow me to introduce myself. Draenor Vilhelmka at your service, most noble warrior. You mean Draenor Furdok, petty thief and would-be outlaw. Save your stories for someone else. Runkel and Selina sent me. <laughs> Selina. Oh, by Raja and Fix, I have to return or she will curse my name. I must return to her. Wait, we can travel together. Yes, we can, because I need a rogue. <laughs> what kind of a proposition? I could use an adventurous young man like you as a traveling companion. Would you like to... Oh, I'm supposed to be a pirate. Would you like to accompany me to Furdock? Hmm, that doesn't sound too bad. But what's in it for me? I just saved your life. Isn't that enough for you now? True enough, good friend. Good. I shall accompany you. It certainly sounds a lot more lucrative than tripsing about with that simpleton ruckle bag thupper. Always. Oh, there he is. There he is. We got a... Draenor, let's take a look at him. Let's see. Oh, he's a... He's a pot... No. no. There we go. <laughs> a rogue! Yes. He's got a weapon called a... Oh my god. Okay. Epee? How do you pronounce that, I wonder? Epee. Epee. And ep hey, yeah. Oh, so fancy. The weapon of choice for those cavaliers looking to inflict powerful blows in honorable swords play, in honorable sword play, as well as in battle. Okay. Or we could have him throw knives, I suppose. Let's take a look at his talents. He's got some bandages. I'll go ahead and give those to my Amazonian. And I'll give all my lockpicking stuff to him, I suppose. Uh, so he doesn't have a ranged attacks. Throwing weapon. Blech. It's like everybody in this game is doing the sabers. Uh, where's saber? Yeah, he's got four points in it. Or is it a fencing weapon? Oh, well, maybe it's a different category. Is that a fencing weapon? The Epe? Yeah, it's a category. Fencing weapon. Interesting category. Okay. Bonuses. Good looking. 
Plus one to charisma. Alright. And he's got three abilities faint. Let's see, what does this do? Reduces the defender's armor value and hinders them from parrying. So makes it easier to hit. And what is Master Parry? So we can block. The next combat round, okay. He's got aimed throw. Alright, so far so good. His talents include etiquette, haggling, <laughs> seduction, <laughs> seduce, human nature, fast talk. So I got some redundancy here, I suppose. Pickpocket. Surely he's got lock picking. Disarm traps two. Pick lock six. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 See any any good stuff? So now I guess I could go back to that cave. Find those chests and unlock them. Yeah, now see, this is dumb. It should just automatically switch to Follow me. this guy to un unlock things. Open lock failed. Okay, maybe he needs to use this thing. Put it on the bar, maybe? Let's see, is that automatic? Failed? Oh, come on! Fuck. Yeah, they give you a rogue and right off the bat he can't even unlock a chest? Are you kidding me? Shaky hands. Oh, I guess you gotta wait for that to fade off. That's probably my bad there. Successful. Try. Oh, got some good stuff though, looks like. Okay. Okay, let's see. Start with my dude. And you can have his hand-me-downs. Okay, he's got a headpiece with three. Headpiece with two. Left leg, right leg. Okay, then we got a padded tunic here. A toad vest is 322. This is a little, probably a little bit better protection, is it? So that only protects my chest, belly, and back. Oh, neat. 322 versus a so I lose a point off chest, but I would get some extra protection on my arms. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. She's got a 22211. And these boots, the same. Alright, kettle helm. 1 1. So those are my. Good. Three, two, two, one, one, one. Uh, that might be better. I don't know. Resist magic. It's got one point of encumbrance versus zero encumbrance. What that's worth. But let's go with it. Knife. All right. You know, I am tempted to go back to that uh, <laughs> cave now, but we'll keep on going. Let's 
see, what's this thing? It looks like... Let's see, what's this thing? Not theory. It may have been put there by extraterrestrials. And if so, how do I get down? Is that just... No, it looks like there's a way. Huh? <laughs> oh, where? <laughs> oh, Lord. Was that all I was supposed to do here? Gain Selena's favor. Alright, got the lover. I thought there was something else I needed to do up here. Oh, there's that waterfall we're supposed to look for, yeah. Okay, well... Let's kind of go see if we can get to the north a little bit more, maybe. Where would a water... Hmm... Uh oh. It could see. Oh, I think we left the area. You're back. Yeah, let's snoop around up here and make sure we've seen everything before we go back. Okay. So that's the way we came. Oh, maybe that's it. I wonder if this dude can do yeah. traps. Disarm traps. Can't set a trap. You know, if you can disarm a trap, shouldn't you be able to set a trap? You know, should that does that really need to be two separate skills? I quibble at that. I I quibble at the notion. This music is great though. Just a little bit of creepy. It's like peaceful yet creepy. I guess that's it. I don't see anything else to do here. I can't get down there, obviously. I want to find that waterfall, though. I thought I heard a waterfall. Oh, I'm chasing waterfalls. What that letter say again? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Read. Okay, go to Abstruf. Their path will take you. Once you reach the water, make your way along the foot of the bald mountain. Yes, I wonder if it's all the way over here. Okay, we're gonna try that. If I recall correctly, we can have up to four characters, and then we get a an NPC, I guess a guest character slot or two. This must be the path they were talking about, right? Okay. That's pretty. Uh, dead man. I don't already, I've already looked at him. I see a waterfall. I see the waterfall. There's... Somebody told me you should always look behind the waterfall. Oh, wait a minute. 
How do I get over there? Do I need to be on the other side? Oh no. <laughs> okay, reach the water, make your way along the foot of the bald mountain behind abundant greenery. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe I do have to fight all these fire. Oh, oh, I see something back there. Ha <laughs> ha! There it is! Uh, just, for just for fun, I'll fight these two. Fireflies. <laughs> Oh, it's so serene. Okay, what in the hell is she doing? Okay, I use the key. Boom! What's in the chest? Ooh, three ducats, a gold chain, a silver ring. Well, money, money, money is good, I guess. Turn my new zip at some ducats. You know what? Let's. <laughs> now that I'm like four hours into the video or whatever, let's figure out how you actually say this. Duck it. Duck it! Rhymes with bucket. What have I been calling it? Ducats? <laughs> oh, God. Ducats. Duck it! Sometimes you just gotta say, duck it. Okay, and I think that should be all we need to get our uh, test door letters, and that'll probably be a good stopping point. Kill this wild boar first, though. <laughs> okay, let's get out his fainting ability. Faint. Not faint as in. <sighs> okay. I bravely flee the battle. Yeah, they probably need to work a little bit on their collision detection or pathfinding or whatever this is. I probably should just make my Amazon a steady on uh, archer. I'll take care of that. Skin. You know, I'm trying to decide how what playing this game feels like. It's it is a little bit like playing WoW, but you know, of course, being the single player game, you get a little bit richer interaction with your NPCs. I'd say it's kind of to me feels like a. I don't know if you cross WoW maybe with uh, a little bit of Dragon Age. A little bit of gothic. That's kind of what, somewhere in that combination, is what this feels like to me. I'll try to give you more general comments here after we turn the stuff in. But it's a lot of depth, I'll tell you that. I mean, just, you know, looking, I got like one recipe, I got all these recipes and. We don't even have a spellcaster in the party. There'd probably be a whole other branch of, like, stuff to do. Alright, I need to go find Selena. Oh, I can do this chest now. Thieves' Crete. I wonder if there's mounts in this game. I mean, they got everything else. <laughs> they probably have mounts. Guardsman Bean. Uh, Mr. Bean. Ah. Why is he yellow? I'm supposed to talk to him again? Greetings. I 
wish you would I like to look at your pannier. That's just weird. I just, I've been selling all this stuff. I don't know if I how bad of an idea that is, to be honest. Snuff box. I mean, I kind of was just assuming if it's important I wouldn't be able to sell it, but you know how that goes sometimes. Gold chain, silver ring. Probably find some widow. Oh, if I only had the chain. Poison fangs. I think I need those. If you find a golden chain in a chest. Listen up, everyone. Hey, I'm gonna stick her on arrow duty. Even though I really do like her uh, cutlass. Do 100 arrows. Okay, that should be fine. And I think the throwing knives are their own thing, right? Because you can't just throw a regular knife. <laughs> Must be a throwing knife. I come back here. Greetings. So they got a haggle now. Two percent. That's good. Red leather pants. Interesting. What do I want to spend my money on here? Let's see, half boots, one and one. Light leather boots, one and one. Red leather pants sounds kind of exciting. One, one. Listen up, everyone. I don't think the Amazon needs pants, does she? She's got like a Xena type kind of look going on. How about a leather jacket? He's got a toad vest. No, I don't think that's an improvement. Leather gloves might be. Now let's get some leather gloves. Marbles. <laughs> oh, you like? I guess it's like you, uh, you trip over, or slip on the marbles. That's that's kind of fun. Five cudgels, one berry juice. Melt scraps, gold chain. Hmm. I don't really see anything else here that looks all that great. I'm sure we don't have more stuff to sell. Yeah, get rid of that cleaver. He's got a knife he doesn't need. Okay. So nobody needs these boots. Nifty. Now look at all these slots. I don't even know what's supposed to go there. That's neat. Quiver. Okay, well let's sell the... Get back here! Let's sell the, uh, the boots and I guess the... Do I want to sell the vest? Yeah, we'll sell the vest. Okay. Well, well. What's the matter with his feet? I completely forgot what I was doing. Oh, crit, crit, crit. Gotta get to the crate. It's a crate amp. So, should I just use the hairpin on it? Go in there with no tools first. Okay, that failed and he's got shaky hands now. Gotta wait for that to wear off. Little slap on the wrist for not using the hairpins. Excuse me, sir. Do you sell some hairpins with which I might pick that lock? Notes. Whoa, something's whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? I guess she leveled up. Cool. She's level three now. 
What does she get? What does she get? Uh, she can bump up her sabers some more and her bow some more. Let's do the bow. And do the saber. I'll give her two improvements. I think that pretty much wipes her out. Okay, good, good. Did he level up too? What's it? It's a fencing weapon. Yeah, he can't level. I don't think he leveled up. Okay. Ouch! My feet. I wonder why he keeps complaining about his feet. Is that just a little thing he says? Some banter? Or does he not like wearing boots? Okay. Ho, oh, Runkle, you here? What a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> and here I was thinking you would run off. Run, Millie, I can't take ten paces without being stopped by a town guard thanks to you and your thieving. No, don't be like that, pal. We still have some unfinished business. The chest at the Ave Shrine? No, no, it's just I found this note inside a chest. The note is written in code. I wonder if it has something to do with your examination. Can I see it? Sure. You girl gave me a key to this code encrypted message. Show it to me. It says, find the key in the second clue in the chicken coop at the farm. Oh, this is not over yet. Where's this chicken coop? So I guess there was a reason for me to be in that chicken coop. I had a feeling there was something there. Something important. Yes, we are mighty adventurers, but we cannot hop over a two-foot fence. We must perform a dexterity check to step over the fence. Man. Go, 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 go! I literally went all the way around this. What was this pickpocket business? Am I supposed to pickpocket something? Alright, we're in the chicken coop. What are you doing in my yard? Good question. They look so idyllic, I could not help but step inside to take a closer look. Oh. Wolfie the Hound. Can I pet him? He's difficult with strangers. I can try to intimidate her. Seduce her? Yeah, why not? You are such a kind person and so caring to your god dog. Your husband is indeed a lucky man. Oh, you flatter me, kind sir. Were I still young and not yet married, my heart would be yours alone. Here, take this bone, you wild... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah. You know, it's a German game and we yet to come across any sausages. I'm wondering what's up with that. Uh, I guess we solved that little puzzle. Something about a bone? What are we actually supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Wolfie the guard dog. Woof! Here you go, here's a nice boot. Yes. Nick knack patty whack. Give Wolfie a bone. No chicken coop, killed a thieves key. Wolfie's hiding place. Where did Wolf hide out? What? What? Listen up, 
everyone. Hmm. See, they're failing some kind of check or just not searching? What, what's going on here? Hmm. I don't know what's Stay behind going me. on with that. Here we go. Let's go. If it is doing a roll, it's not telling me what. <laughs> going on with that. Here we go. Let's go. If it is doing a roll, it's not telling me. Oh, maybe I have to bring him a rat tail, like the one you just sold. Here we go. It's Stay behind. I guarantee it's something that like way. that. Stay behind me. Okay, what do we do now? Go back to Runkle. That way. Runkle, quit dumping that bag. Stay behind me. Here we go. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it's a little bit quirky how you have to select your party members just right. Okay, let's go back to Runkle. I give them credit for coming up with creative names, though. Twinebush. Bag thumper. I mean, I haven't Who's seen there? that before. Just a second message. There's a chest in the ruins of the old meal. Old mill. Open it and retrieve the note inside. Oh, boy. This is going to go on forever, isn't it? Let's go down here and do this Selena thing. <clears throat> Now who do we have here? The prodigal son has returned. Selina, my angel. <laughs> Let me explain what happened. What is there to explain? Give me back my heirloom. You know how much it means to me. He doesn't have it anymore, right? The fox sold it for some quick coin. Yes, I don't have it anymore. But I didn't sell it. The stranger, he took it. Oh, yeah. And did the stranger just happen to let a bag of ducats drop for it? <laughs> Selena, please believe me. I only did it for us. Whatever, Draenor. You've disappointed me. It's going to take time for me to trust you again. So go, please. But I thank you for rescuing Draenor. As a token of my gratitude, I will intercede with Nandor for you. If your word isn't good enough for him, tell him I'll spill the beads about what he did on the first Preyas Day last year. All right. So I think we are... Yeah, we can go to Nandor now. So let's go to Nandor. And we'll call it there, and I'll give you my dunce in the game if I can tear myself... Oh! Tear myself away from it. You know, I think this is one of those games, though, I really feel like I'm gonna be... playing it all the way through. I don't have a lot else going on at the moment, and this is, uh... You know, game-wise, and this one's pretty damn fun. I honestly, I don't remember it being this this good. I don't know if it's just that everything else has kind of been blah lately. I'm just kind of bored with other games, but man, this is like super addictive. And I really, really want to keep going and keep on leveling up these guys. Beautiful uh, atmosphere here. Good music. I mean, everything is just great. You know, I'm kind of wondering, too, if uh, maybe they did some patches or some improvements since the game came out back in... Oh, God, what was it? Oh, 08 or 09? Because this is... All I had to do was uh, tweak that mouse setting a little bit for the camera. Now it's just smooth as butter. What do you want this time? What do you time? want this time? Oh, we can 
turn those badges in for a bounty. Did it tell me I could do that before? I probably did. What do you want? Okay, who's willing to testify to your good character? Well, firstly, the beautiful Selena, Queen of the Mountebanks. Mountbank. <laughs> Mountie Bank. Mountie Bank, yes, I was right. The Mountie Banks. Firstly, the beautiful Selena, Queen of the Mountie Banks. She's more than willing to put in a good word for me. Secondly, I have a letter of recommendation from Archmage Recurium Montagonis. Well, I need so inside letter. But I'm sure you made that up about Selena, didn't you? I believe you already made the acquaintance of the beautiful queen of the Mountie Banks, haven't you? I'm sure you remember the first day of Preos last year. All right, all right, that's enough! <laughs> Selena would not have told you that old story. She didn't trust you. I'll issue you a pass at once. Then back to Mythbusters. We want to blow up a bridge. You'll need it once you reach Furdock. Farewell, Hunter. Uh, so there you are, folks. I got all the way through this little opening gambit here. There's still some stuff to do. I'm going to get the get this rogue quest finalized, do his third task. I'm sure that'll be fun. Uh, you know, obviously I haven't played through the whole game. I, I don't know if it gets, uh, you know, better from here or maybe it gets, you know, more and more repetitive from here. Sometimes the game, you know, they invest all of their time and effort into the first you know, few hours of gameplay and then it's kind of downhill from there so if you've completed this game do chime in in the show notes uh, let me know hey does this get better does it get worse it's kind of the same consistent level of quality all the way through um you know i really haven't picked up even on like the main storyline too much at this point just kind of doing the preliminary stuff feels like get away from this old nag <laughs> i couldn't <laughs> But, you know, I'm not the type of guy that really puts a whole lot of emphasis on storylines and things of that sort. I'm more interested in the gameplay mechanics and the places and basically how it makes me feel. Uh, sort of the look and the feel as I'm going through the uh, various zones of the game. Dungeons, forests, mountains, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. And I want to know that, you know, I always want to feel like there's something cool right around the corner. If I just keep playing a little bit longer, get some more XP, get that new skill, get that new... Uh, new quest item or new uh, piece of gear, you know, something like that is what keeps me uh, playing more than anything else. Uh, so I'm going to say this game, I mean, ten bucks, it was on sale for like $2 when I got it. Uh, so yeah, excellent purchase, <laughs> no brainer at that level. <laughs> uh, but even at $10, I mean, look at this. You know, what else are you going to play for 10 bucks? You know, especially if you haven't ever played this, you might have missed it when it came out or you're like me, you played it for a while, kind of got you know, lost in the mix of all the other stuff out out at the time, uh, Dragon Age and all that. Uh, so, if you're looking for something to play, I, I mean, good lord. I mean, I definitely wouldn't mind spending another couple of days uh, working on this, uh, and I intend to. Uh, so anyway, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I would give this, you know, again, not having played it all the way through, uh, it's kind of hard to be definitive about the story, but, you know, other than that, uh, I'd say everything is pretty much top-notch at this point. Really impressed with the audio audio visuals. I think it holds up uh, really well. I don't know if this is what it looked like on <laughs> day one, or if they like patched and enhanced it uh, since. Uh, it looks really good. Controls really well. Uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun killing those rats. Uh, I like the fact that they don't overwhelm you with stuff. You know, we just have a few abilities at the moment. I'm sure we'll get more as the game progresses, but... You know, it feels about the right level of uh, complexity for this point. Uh, obviously, it is uh, not a turn-based uh, fighting system. It's that real-time with pause system. Some people prefer that to the turn-based. You know, I guess if I could just have an unlimited... You know, if they came to me and like, Matt, you know, what would you most like to see? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I love a turn-based system. It'd be pretty cool if they could somehow do like they did with... Uh, Oh god, what was that game I've been playing where they sort of retrofitted it with the turn-based combat? You know, blanking on the name of that <laughs> I literally just played it and I've uh, forgotten what it was. But anyway, if they could uh, uh, do something like that, give it kind of the wasteland 
three treatment or uh, more of an XCOM vibe, but I mean, that's, that's kind of probably not going to happen. Uh, this system is fine. You know, I really don't have any problems with it. it it's it's pretty easy to uh, to use. I like the fact you get all these equipment slots, uh, all the little descriptions and things. You know, I'm not saying I think I might have spotted one typo. One of the, you know one of the reviews I read said this game was like riddled with uh, spelling errors and typos. Maybe it was when it came out, but I, I think I might have spotted one little simple typo. But I'm, it looks like they pretty much fixed all that stuff. They probably could spell out their, you know, the way that the game works in terms of the role-playing mechanics a little bit more. They probably probably do in some of those <laughs> screens I just skipped over. <laughs> but, you know, again, it's kind of part of the fun figuring all, all this stuff out for yourself. Uh, so, anyway, I'll just wrap it up here. I think this is definitely something you should pick up. You know, it's it's cheap enough where it's just you kind of buy it, stick it in your uh, GOG inventory or your, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Steam, too. And uh, you might not want to play it right away, but, you know, it's something you'll, you'll probably want to get around to eventually. I'm really happy I went back and, and gave this another go. So, so there you go. We'll uh, leave it off here. Uh, Drake and Sing. A lot of fun. I'm going to keep playing. If my, uh, I'll put it this way. If, if my attitude or opinion changes as I play through some more, I'll come back and update. Maybe update it in the comments or maybe even do another video. Uh, I don't know, because I, I feel like I'm just sort of scratching the surface, <laughs> even with all these hours in. Uh, so anyway, let's stop it here. I'll have a, one last uh, Furdock Pale Ale. <laughs> and I'll see, uh, see you next time. And that's all for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I kind of, uh, you know, got to admit I really had a good time with this game. I'm, I'm sort of contemplating a little bit of a German theme here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, there's just all these German uh, German import CRPGs I've either never played or played very uh, limited amounts. So I think it'd be a lot of fun to go back and look at some of those. And you know, again, when I ask on Twitter, "What are your favorite German CRPGs?" I just got a lot of uh, responses to that. I think it'd be worth looking at some of those. Uh, I mean, I've done the Gothic series, but I haven't done, for example, Amber Star. Uh, God, what was that? That Legend of Fairgol Fairgale uh, game. I haven't done Sacred. I mean, just a ton of uh, you know great German games that I haven't really delved into on the show. Uh, so that might be a little theme coming up. Let me know what you think about that, or maybe uh, there's an <laughs> another country's uh, CRPGs you'd like me to look at. Uh, but anyway, just something I thought might be cool. Uh, but anyway, you know what else is cool? You! Uh, thank you very, very, very much for supporting this show, Matt Chat, keeping this show on the air. We're almost to 500. I mean, it's not that far off. I guess about 28 more episodes and we'll be there. And you know, I couldn't do any of that without you. Uh, so thank you very much for your support of the show. Uh, I want to welcome a couple of new rats to the pack, or new rat slayers. <laughs> you know, you're not really rats. You're rat slayers. Uh, we don't want rats here. <laughs> <laughs> the people that kill the rats. <laughs> um, anyway, a couple of new people. I'd say uh, new or shinier rats. You know, sometimes uh, you might already be a rat uh, But you think, you know, I've been doing the buck a show. Might bump it up to two bucks a show. You know, you know, I kind of think that's worth the call out as well. Shout out. Uh, anyway, uh, Peter, thank you. Shane plays. Oh, where'd you go? Ken. Come back here, Ken. Zeravok, Jordan, and Cody, just to name a few. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for supporting this show. I salute you. I hail you. <laughs> welcome, or welcome back to the Rat Slayers Guild. All right, what about that news from the Matt Cave? I think I actually mentioned it. <laughs> if you want to become a Ratron, you're not doing it yet. Uh, go to that link in the show notes. The Patreon site's very easy. You can either do a one-time sort of one-off thing, just say 20 bucks here, you know, here you go. Uh, or you can set up a subscription, you know, a buck a show, a buck a month. What, uh, I think it's by month now. <laughs> you might say a dollar a month, or you might just say here's 12 bucks. You know, whatever's easier for you. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 
All right, uh, quite a bit of interesting news here. First up, first item is from Shane. Oh, Shane's a busy guy. Uh, and he pointed me to an article by Darren Bont Bontus, Bontos, Bontos? <laughs> anyway, Darren B, let's say, of GameSpot. Uh, Embracer Group acquires 3D Realms and several other studios. So this is a Swedish company called the Embracer. <laughs> what a name for a, uh, a company like this. Apparently they are embracing all sorts of companies on this big buying spree, snatching up all these uh, companies, Gearbox, THQ, Nordic, Coffee Stain, Amplifier, Sabre, a whole bunch of them. You know, whether you think this is a good thing or a bad thing, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what this means, to be honest with you. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it, if you have any. Uh, what do you think about all these acquisitions by this uh, Swedish company? You know, <laughs> how much worse can they be than EA? You know, I don't know. Uh, second item, Matt uh, W wrote in about this from uh, Polygon's Charles Thiel, maybe Teal. I don't know T H E E L. Uh, there's a first James Bond board game of this generation that turns the players into the super villains. Which I don't know why this hasn't been done before. This sounds like a perfect. <laughs> it just makes perfect sense the more I think about it. You know, you could play James Bond, but that's kind of kind of dull, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be more fun to play all those fun uh, super villains? I mean, they're the ones that really make those movies so good. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is uh, it's coming out next year, I guess. Modifius Entertainment, and you won't be playing 007 or any other agents. Instead, you choose between classic Bond villains such as Ernest Stavro Blofeld, uh, Rosa Kleb, uh, Raul Silva. <laughs> I mean, this sounds like a lot of fun. I definitely want to get this. Maybe we'll turn it into a computer game as well. You know, assuming the board game goes well, we'll see. All right, and then last but not least, we have a really cool dungeon crawler. And I, they're calling this the first ever World War II dungeon crawler. I you know, played around with it a little bit. It kind of feels like a, a little bit like a classic uh, kind of Doom or Wolfenstein kind of game. But, of course, it's a dungeon crawler. Uh, so you might, you really want to give this a play. You can actually play it right in a browser. You don't even have to download anything. Uh, it's got a bit of humor to it. I think you'll enjoy uh, playing around with it. It's called Rasko Pinnick. Rasko Popnik. <laughs> Raskopnik. Not quite sure how to pronounce this. The Trench Warrior. Uh, crawl around in the trenches during uh, the Second World War fighting Nazis and trying your best to stay alive. You only get one life. If you fail, try again. Learn, adapt, progress. The atmosphere, environment, and ambiance is absolutely amazing, and that's according to Zooperdon from DungeonCrawlers.org. By the way, really cool site. I was <laughs> happy to find that. A lot of cool stuff on there. Uh, but anyway, can you reach the end, squash the Reich, and save the motherland? A roguelike first-person dungeon crawler, six levels, and about a four- to five-hour playthrough. So definitely check this out. Raskopnik, the Trench Warrior. All right, so let's wrap it up with a quote then as a... Uh, Looking for quotes by famous German fantasy authors, and you know, I don't know why it didn't occur to me until I did the search, but The NeverEnding Story, <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, and of course, that's based on a novel series, and the author of that is Michael Inda, uh, a German, and his, he got a lot of great quotes, as you would imagine, but this one I was uh, really impressed with, so here it is. It goes something like this. No architect troubled to design houses that suited people who were to live in them because that would have meant building a whole range of different houses. It was far cheaper and, above all, time-saving to make them all identical. So, ponder on that, and see you guys next time. of the dreams and hopes of mankind.